Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? I was waiting for the room to have over 100 participants. I think we have over 103 people on this call already tonight, guys. I'm fired up. I'm excited. My name is Lucas. I'm pretty. I'm going to be one of your hosts tonight, but don't worry. I'm only going to be entering it tonight. We have some amazing, amazing people. We have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Austin Godsey, Chairman 100, and I market side. He did it two times back to back. He's going to be on this call dropping a lot of nuggets. And also, we have the VP of sales, the one and only Mr. Alex Morton, uh, the man who's actually been responsible for creating a lot of revolution in this industry with youth movement. So guys, tonight, we have two phenomenal speakers. Congratulations for being on here. Congratulations for having this call at over 100 people already. But 
I want to ask you guys a question. Do you believe the value that Austin got to Chairman 100 and VPL Sales Alex Martin are going to be providing for us tonight is worth only 100 people? I think we could do a lot better. This is iMarkets Live. I am Liddy 2019. We're just getting started. So what I want everyone to do right now over the next two to five minutes, I know there's a lot of people that deserve and should be on this call tonight because if they apply the information, they can literally double or triple their business over the next 15 days, 30 days, whatever the case might be. So guys, right now, let's do this. We have 120 people. I know we can get this to 300, 400, 500. We should be able to get it to a lot, a lot of people. Austin's calling my bad. So right now, go out there, send those last second messages, send those last second calls, and get your team on. Blast this link on your group chats with your leaders. Do whatever it is we have to do. Every person right now only gets one, two, three more people to jump on. We can get this packed out to 300, 400, 500 people. So guys, two to five minutes and we are going to get this party started if you're ready if you can hear it type in a 777 in the chat box below two to five minutes we're waiting on austin godsey and alex Moore to jump on and we are going to get the party started congratulations and welcome to day two of the five-day chairman boot camp let's go All right, guys, all right, guys, we're about to get this started, but I see very low numbers, only 188 people. I know we can do a lot better. This is GV, this is iMarket Slide. Guys, this is the five day Chairman Bootcamp day two with Alex Morton and Austin Gadget, Chairman 100 and VP of Sales. So let's get this to at least 300 people over the next 60 seconds. Let's blitz this. Send the links to every single person on your team. I don't care if you're a customer, if you're a trader. I don't care if you've been involved for the past six months, two years, or you just got started. The information tonight is very, very valuable. And if you are not on this, taking notes and applying it tomorrow, 
after the call, you're going to lose out on millions and millions of dollars. So, guys, let's get this at least to 300 people. Alex Morton is in the building. Austin Godsey is in the building. I want to pass it off to them, but I want to see at least 300 people over the next 60 seconds, and we're going to get this started, guys. Welcome to the call. Let's go. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds, and we are getting started. Send those last second texts to your team. Go on the chat box below if you're fired up. If you're ready, and type in your city, your country. Where in the world are you tuning in from? Let's show the world we are global. I markets live. Let's go international markets live, baby. Ten seconds, let's go, let's go. We got people from all over the world. We got London, we got Japan, we got New York City, we have Atlanta, we have Portugal, Milwaukee, Jeez, Kansas, we got Lisbon, Connecticut, we got people from all over, Germany, Ecuador, we got California, Louisiana, Guatemala, Macedonia, Montreal, Virginia, Nevada. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ten seconds, baby, let's go. Okay, 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 okay. We have 240 people ready and fired up to soak in the information, to soak in the knowledge. So guys, welcome once again, congratulations. This is day two of the five-day chairman bootcamp tonight. We're gonna be covering meetings and presentations, how to share the business, building to conventions and big events. So hopefully you have a notepad, you have a pen and you're taking notes because what do they say, right guys? Note takers are money makers. If somebody is speaking who's making more money than you, if someone's speaking who has the results and the lifestyle that you want, you must simply apply the information they give you and you're gonna get what they get almost every single time. So guys, my name is Superstar Freddy, one of your hosts. I'm gonna be interviewing you guys tonight. We have Alex Morton, VP of Sales and Austin Gatti, Chairman 100. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, so let's get straight into it. You know, uh, we have Alex here on the other side who actually stepped away from the middle of a meeting. That's how you know this guy's in the trenches. He's making the money. He has the results, but he is still working. He is humble. He has his head focused, lasered into his goals, into helping his family, helping his team. So he's really a true example of what a leader should be. He does what he does in the time he's supposed to do with the right attitude, with the right people. Every single thing he does is centered to focus and helping us tonight, Market Side. So guys, for those of you who don't know Alex Morton, he's young in his early 20s. He's actually been able to launch one of the biggest revolutions in this industry with the youth movement. He's a momentum creator, an entrepreneur. He's spoken over 75 countries, two, two-time best-selling author, okay? And most importantly, I think he has a huge, huge heart. He's a tremendous leader, and he is tonight about to drop, I know, tremendous amounts of value. So guys, please, if you're ready to hear from the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Alex Morin, someone who's helped dozens and dozens and dozens of families reach a six and seven figure income, I want you to go on the chat box below and throw some fire emojis for this man. Let me see. We got to blow up this chat. We have 270 people and counting. I am so happy and grateful. People continue to join. We're going to get this to 500 at least by the end of the call. Let me see those fire emojis for the one and only Mr. Alex Warren. Welcome, guys. Take notes, and I'll see you guys at the top. Alex, I'm going to pass it off to you, my man. Appreciate you for being on the call. What's up, what's up, what's up? Lucas, how you doing, my man? You gotta turn my video on. Um, but hey guys, super excited to be here. There we go. Tonight, I'm actually in the back room of an event. I'm, I think I'm here like the kitchen over here because there's still hundreds of people uh, over there, but super fired up and excited to be here. So first of all, I wanna give it back to you. Lucas, uh, definitely proud of you, man, for, for, for doing your thing, bro. And you know, going Platinum 5000 at a very young age is not easy to do. That is a difficult thing to do. I'm not sure how old you are, but I'm pretty sure you're younger uh, than I was when I was making $5,000 a month. So guys, you know, my name is Alex Ward. I'm the executive vice president of this company. And, uh, you know, number one, I care about you guys. I care about your success. I care about you guys getting to the next level. I do what I do every single day uh, to help as many people as possible. 
get to where they want to go. You know, I'm financially independent. My family's taken care of. And now I spend all my time helping all of you. So Lucas, appreciate the intro, my man. I also want to say, I know Austin Godsey has put together this chairman boot camp. I absolutely love the idea of this. I absolutely love getting people, uh, you know, together on Zooms, you know, in events that have the results that you want. You know, one of the biggest secrets to my success is that, you know, uh, at 21 years old, when I got involved in this industry of network marketing, I, I seeked out the top earners. I seeked out the top people making money, you know, the 40K a month, the 80K a month, the 100K a month. And I studied these people, you know, to a T. And what I can tell you is that Austin Gatti has done that with a select group of people. And that is why he is a multi-million dollar, not million dollar earner. He's a multi-million dollar earner in the industry of network marketing. And he does it his own way. And I just have a lot of respect for Austin. And uh, the guy just works, he, he works very, very hard. So if you guys are part of his group, amazing. If you're not a part of his group, you're a part of my group. And we're really all just one group because we're iMarkets Live, we're all the same family. But tonight, I'm going to talk about, you know, success. I'm going to talk about, you know, promoting for events. I know my topic is presentations. Uh, I know that, you know, Luke, Lucas was talking about creating revolutions and, you know, movements in the industry. And what you got to understand is that it all begins with actions. You know, it really all begins with actions. Yes, you have to think the right things. You have to feel the right, you know, emotions. You have to get your goals in front of you every single day. You have to see the car you desire, the house you want to live in, the money in your bank account. But if you don't take the necessary actions, right, and there's four levels of action. And tonight I'm going to ask you, you know, to tell, tell yourself, you know, tell me what level of action you're currently playing at in this business. You know, there's no right or wrong answer, but if you're looking for massive results, you have to take massive actions. Hopefully you guys are taking notes because um, this, this, is, this, is, this is really good information. You know, I don't talk a lot about money because I just don't talk a lot about money, but I only, I only talk about money because when I talk about money, people pay attention. What I can tell you is that this industry of network marketing has paid me now over $17 million in eight years. And when I'm telling you in the next 20 minutes of this phone call can give you the results you desire if you use this information, because if it can work for me, if it can work for Austin, if it's working for, you know, Lucas, if it's working for people all over the world right now and I markets live, it can also work for you. So what you've got to understand is that, you know, when you're talking about presentations, you know, one of my biggest quotes that I live by in my business is, you must plan your work and work your plan. Some of you have heard that before. Some of you guys have. You must plan your work and you must work your plan. And when it comes to presentations, my question is very simple. In the last seven days, how many presentations have you done to grow your business? Okay, I am sitting in the kitchen of an event venue right now. I just did an event. Yesterday, I did an event. The day before, I did an event. Tomorrow, guess what I'm doing? flying to Sao Paulo to do an event. Then guess what I'm doing? Flying to another country to do another event. So if you're on this call, I'm speaking to you as if you're already Chairman 10. I'm speaking to you as if you're already making the money that you want to be making. So how many events, type in the chat box, how many events have you done via Zoom, via one-on-one, -on -one, via two-on-one, -on -one, via hotel presentation in the last seven days? And I can tell you, if your number's not at least five to five to six, if you're not doing at least five to six days a week, five to six nights a week, you're not taking massive action towards your business. I know you guys are busy. I know you have things going on, part-time jobs, full-time jobs. You guys have got kids. Austin Gazi has a kid. He's a single father and he's doing six to seven events every single week. And that is why he is where he is. So number one, how many events have you done in the last seven days? All right. Number two, do you have a plan for growth? Do you have a plan to get to the next level? We all know in order to get to the next level, okay, it's about helping other people get to the next level. So if you want to go chairman 10, you need to create what, seven to 10, eight to nine, let's just, let's call it eight to 10 chairman 10s. You got to create eight to 10 chairman 10s in your organ. I'm sorry, eight to 10 platinum 1000s. Okay. It's been a long, it's been a long week. It's been a long, it's been a long eight years. Okay. You have to create eight to 10 platinum 1000s to go chairman 10. So you have three legs of business, all right? In your legs of business, have you identified, okay, those three to four in each leg that you're gonna help to go chairman 10? 
If the answer is yes, amazing. If the answer is no, okay, well now you know that you need to do that. You need to identify the people that you're gonna help get to the next level. I'm constantly working with people that are going to the next level. We just, we, we have a guy named Marcel. He just hit chairman 25 in, in, uh, in Ecuador. We have somebody going for chairman 100 in Ecuador as well. You have to understand that you have to know who you're working with. You have to know who you're running with. Okay. I'm the executive vice president of this whole company. I don't talk to 75,000 people every single day. We have communication like channels. We have a chairman 25 chat. We have a chairman 10 chat. You have to have these different waves of communication so people can get your information. People can get your knowledge. People can get the information that they need to get their business and lives to the next level. So again, presentations. How many presentations do you do every single week, online and offline? Okay, when it comes to actions, right? What are some of the actions that we've got to take in our business every day or five to six days a week? The three Ps. Number one, prospecting. Number two, presenting. Number three, promoting. Okay. Number one, prospecting. I prospect new people for my business every day on Instagram, every day on Facebook. Okay. I do it most of the days offline. I'm not going to tell you I do it every day offline because then I'd be lying to you and I don't lie, but I do it most of the days. I'm talking to Uber drivers. I'm talking to hotel workers. I'm talking to, um, you know, the waiters and the waitresses and different people I meet on social media and then meet them in real life. I'm prospecting people. Okay strangers have what you want strangers have what you need strangers have what you just is there any water anywhere there's got to be something i don't know it's all it's all good if you can't find any um it's just hot as hell hot as hell back here in this freaking kitchen um prospecting right you got to be talking to people that are not yet involved in your business what does that mean that means some of you spend too much time talking to current existing business partners some of you spend too much time taking a stick in beating your current team on the ass, on the butt, excuse my language, come on, man, do meetings, do presentations, talk to more people, talk to more people, talk to more people. You know what I realized? It's easier to make a new baby than it is to raise the dead. You can't raise the dead. Does that make sense? You can't resurrect somebody from the dead. If the second you want them more than somebody else in your business, the second you want them more than them, it's, it's, it's called dead weight. It's called dead weight, meaning go find Okay, go find people that have hunger. Go find people. One second, take the jacket off. Go find people that are excited about freedom, that are excited about, you know, getting their lives to the next level. There are plenty of people okay, surrounding you right now in London, England, in Boston, Massachusetts. Um, wherever you are, there are people that need what you have, whether it's Brazil, whether it's Puerto Rico, whether it's Costa Rica. Go talk to more people, okay? Go talk to people at Starbucks. Go talk to people at Tim Hortons. Go talk to people at Chipotle or Subway, or Facebook, or Instagram, or Snapchat, okay? If you look, a lot of the top leaders in this company do a lot on social media. Why? Because it's a way of attracting people into your business. Well, Alex, I don't have 200,000 people on my Facebook. I don't have 400,000 people on my Snapchat. I don't have 100,000 people on my on my Instagram. Guys, when Austin Gossie started posting, when Alex Ford started posting, when Julian Kushner started posting, with Matthew Rosa and Jason Brown started posting, when they were broke in Vima with me, they didn't have anybody watching their calls. They didn't have thank you. They didn't have anybody watching their, you know, Snapchats. They didn't have anybody watching their stuff. When when David Emanetti started in network marketing, no one knew who the heck he was either. You have to start. Okay, you don't have to be great to start, but you gotta to start to be great. Some of you were waiting. Some of you were waiting for five thousand dollars a month to start talking to people. Some of you were waiting for ten thousand dollars. Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? I'm not sure if we can hear Alex's connection. Must be a little bit crazy. I don't know if he's in the back of the bathroom or the kitchen. If you guys can hear him or if you're Zankon. let us know in the no, chat, please. Hold on. Okay, Alex. Can you guys hear me? Hit one, nope. two, three. Sorry about that. Bro. I got a hotspot. I got a hotspot. There okay. we go. So, okay, we're good. So, 
Yo, 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 Alex, if you can hear us, maybe try and cutting your camera. Uh, that might make it a little bit better for us to hear you right now. You're cutting in and out. That's what I'm getting from the comments below. People say they can't hear you. They're like, go somewhere with a better connection. So try and maybe just cut off no your problem. camera. See if it works. Okay, is that better? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I'm not going to move. Sorry, guys. I'm in the middle of the jungle in Brazil. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to speed it up. So, number one, you have, you have prospecting. Number two, you have. have um, you have Presby. All right. Make sure, okay, it's cutting. Can you remote? Can I? Okay. Okay, prospecting was super clear then. Can you guys hear me? Yes or no? Okay, they can hear me now. I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move, okay? Just tell that guy to be quiet, please. Or tell him to chill out. All right, this is more important. Okay, so prospecting, presenting, and promoting, okay? We have Las Vegas coming up. You have to promote for Las Vegas. You have to bring people to Las Vegas. I'm not going to move. I promise. You have to get people to Las Vegas. No matter what it takes, you have to get people to Vegas. You have you have leaders traveling around the world doing events in your city, doing events in your country. We had we had people tonight drive 13 hours in a van across Brazil to get to this event. Why? Because they're committed. Because they are dedicated. Because they want this. They have a high level of desire for success in their lives. On a scale of one to ten, how much? Do you want this thing? How bad do you want this thing? How bad do you want to get freedom? How bad do you want to retire your parents? How bad do you want to help people? Some of you let little things distract you. You let boyfriends and girlfriends and nonsense. I've been doing this for eight and a half years. I'm 29 years old. I'm telling you what I know. You must cut distractions out of your life. There are some people with your same last name that are unhealthy for you and your success. It doesn't mean they're bad people. It doesn't mean they don't love you. It doesn't mean you don't love them, but they are bad for your success. You must be okay with letting people go. You must be okay with dropping people out of your life. So you have prospecting, presenting, and promoting, okay? Number, okay, so from there, let's move on. Let's move on to the art of promotion, right? We have a perfect example of tonight, we had a young guy who's making $150 a month in this company, and I market live. They packed 225 people into this room tonight. 225 people into this room tonight, and he's only a platinum 150. Well, how does that make sense? Well, they printed tickets, and they built value behind the tickets. They edified me coming to this town. I have a question. How well do you edify Christopher Terry? How well do you edify Jason Brown? How well do you edify Yvonne Tapia? How well do you edify, how well do you edify Austin Gatsy? and Adrian and Yvonne Briongos, right? How well do you edify okay, the people that are going to help you build your business? Because you don't edify me to make me feel good. I don't need you to make me feel good. I feel good no matter what you think about me. You know edify people so they can help you build your business because until you are a master until you understand this business until you have the skill set and you know how to prospect and present and promote and invite and close people on the phone and follow up you must you must pass the ball does that make sense you must get good at assisting you must get good at passing you must you you must you must you must pass the ball to your upline and let them come in and close let them be Conor McGregor let, let them be you know, Floyd Mayweather, and then one day, you will be that for your people. You will be that for your team, okay? Now I'm going to say something to all the people on this call, making $2,000, $5,000, $10,000, $50,000 a month. I want you to listen to this. John C. Maxwell said this. The best leaders are still the best followers. The best leaders are still the best followers, even with the money I make, even with, you know, the rankings I know where I'm at, right? 
I follow Christopher Terry. I have mentors. I have people that coach me. I get mentored by Bob Proctor. I listen to this guy when he talks to me. Why? Because I understand that the best leaders are the best followers. Okay, You never know it all. I don't care if you make $15 million in, in network marketing, be always that have better results than you. That goes for basketball, football, singing, rapping, being an artist, network marketing, iMarkets Live, trading. There's always somebody that is going to be better than you. So you must always be coachable and teachable. Okay, some of you hit P1000, P2000 in you think you know everything coaching calls right it's important on this call right now it's more important that your brand new p150 your brand new p600 is on this call right now why because when they grow you grow you have to stop focusing on your your own rank and focus on the rank of your other people focus on their growth put the right books in their hands i want you to write these books down right the magic of thinking big the magic of thinking big i want you to write this down all right think and grow rich by napoleon hill Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Okay, I want you to write this down. You Squared, You Squared by Price Pritchett. Talks about quantum leaps, okay? If you don't like to read, I don't like to read. But guess what I do? I read. Why? Because rich people read. Wealthy people read. People with Bugattis read. People with mansions, they read. That's why I read. I don't enjoy reading, but I read with the intention of making that money. And those words on that page turn into millions of dollars in my bank account. That is why... I read. If you don't like to read, well, get on audible.com, get on YouTube, learn, get, get the audios, get the videos, learn whatever way you want to learn. You got to always make sure you're learning. You got to always make sure you're growing. You got to always make sure that you're doing the things necessary to become successful. Okay. To become successful. So guys, I'm proud of every single one of you for being on this call. Uh, Wow, this thing's got almost 500 people on the line. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, the second book name. Okay, you have The Magic of Thinking Big. The Magic of Thinking Big. You have Think You Grow Rich. Then you have You Score. read the books you read you make money you read these books you learn from people that have what you, want. you learn from people that have what they do the reason why so many people don't get to where they want to go is because they try to go alone to go alone you have coaches you have mentors of people in this company that are six figure seven figure eight every point to decent jungle again. brazil brazil from Cuiaba, brazil right from quito ecuador bogota colombia portugal spain Germany, okay? You can't make excuses. Get on southwestairlines.com. Get on american.com. Get on delta.com. Get on, you know, greyhoundbus.com and buy a ticket. This is what you have to understand. So last thing I'm going to say, and I'm going to pass it back to Lucas, okay? You do not have to know how, but you have to know. You do not have to know how you're going to become successful. You do not have to know how you're going to get your dream car. You do, you do not have to know how you're going to build a movement. You're going to create a revolution in your neighborhood, in your city, in your state. In your country. When I was 21 years old, I did not know how I was going to make $15 million before I was 29 years old. But I knew I was going to because I knew it was possible and I knew other people were doing it. So I was going to do it as well. Tonight, I am challenging you to take the next two weeks and do whatever it takes to build your business, to go all in, to do more prospecting, more presenting, more promoting, and to get your butt to Las Vegas, Nevada. If you're sitting there right now, I don't care if you're alone. I don't care if you're with your team. I don't care where you are. I'm telling you, get to Las Vegas. 
I market five as a company since I'm Mr. The Grocks. Put the website. I'm about to kill this thing. You guys are amazing. Awesome. I'm so proud of you. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for your friendship. And uh, I'm just so fired up to be able to, uh, you know, do my, do my helping you guys become successful. So let's go. Talk to you guys soon. Sheesh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, guys. I'm fired up. I'm excited. Alex Morin, the man, the myth. Thank you so much. You drop tremendous amounts of value. I know I have a freaking whole page worth of notes. You're out there literally, I don't know if you said in the back of a bathroom, back of the kitchen, in the middle of an event, you made it happen. Didn't matter if the connection was in and out. I know people are tremendously grateful. Guys, some of the takeaways that I saw from Alex Morin, things that I wrote down about prospecting every single day on social media, he talked about it. Most of the days he does it offline. Guys, real quick, before I pass it off to Austin, guys, and we continue this literally hour of power with these tremendous leaders, I want you to go on the chat box below and type in one key takeaway that you learned from Alex Morin. One thing that you're like, you know what? This is the thing that I needed. I'm going to apply this into my business and see dramatic results. Guys, go on the chat box below and type in, share with the world one thing that you learned. Let's see. Persistence. We have what else do we have? We have, oh my God, these are coming in so freaking fast. Massive action, work your plan. You guys are killing it, guys. I'm so happy and grateful that you guys are receiving a ton of value tonight. Alex absolutely crushed it. So the next person that we have on, okay, just to make sure, you, I can see you guys are on here. You're paying attention. I know that he's going to come on. I don't know what he has, you know, prepared for you guys tonight, but I know it's about to be next level. Any single time my brother, my right-hand man, my mentor, my best friend, Austin Gatti comes on, I know he's about to literally burn my computer. I'm going to hopefully, you know, it, it doesn't crash on us. Hopefully the internet is Gucci, not as bad as it was with Alex. But guys, look, Alex, I mean, I'm sorry, Austin Gatti, uh, if you don't know his story, five years ago, you know, he was literally at rock bottom. He went from zero to hero right now. Uh, you know, five years ago, he was homeless. He didn't have a job, didn't graduate high school. You guys probably heard his story. He's going to share with you guys a little bit tonight. But right now, he's actually been able to create one of the biggest and fastest growing teams in all of, not just iMarket side, but the entire industry of network marketing. And the craziest thing about it is that he's been able to do it two times. In 2016, he did it once in four months, Chairman 100. And now once again in the past 12 months, he's actually been able to achieve Chairman 100 and maintain the rank of Chairman 100 now for quite some while. I know he's not extremely proud of that, you know, going into convention. I know 250 is right around the corner, but, you know, most importantly, beyond all the millions, beyond the Chairman ranks and this and that, you know, Austin is somebody who's helped a lot, a lot of people. He has an incredible heart and he's always out there leading. We just finished a tour, 19 days in Europe. He's back out there in London indefinitely. I don't know for how much he's like, bro, it's four in the morning. I haven't slept in four days, but I'm still out here putting in the work for my team. So I know he's a relentless leader. I know he's about to crush the Chairman 250 this year, 2019. So guys, please go on the chat box below and type in a 999. If you're ready to hear for the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Austin Gatti, someone who's in the top 100 of the top income earners in all of this industry, over 150 million people. Someone who's been able to reach Chairman 100 his first time in IML in four months, and he did it again, starting back from scratch, Chairman 100 again here in IML, soon to be Chairman 250. So guys, thank you all for being here. Hopefully you guys are taking massive notes. I'm going to pass it off. I'm going to step away from greatness and give it to the one and only my brother, Austin Godzi. Bro, if you're on the call tonight, Feel free to unmute yourself, show your pretty face, whatever you got to do. I know the crowd here is ready to rock and roll. Let's get it, guys. Welcome, Austin. Go ahead and take it away, bro. Oh, I don't know if it was the paper cuts on my hand from taking so many notes from Alex or if it was this crappy service. Let me go ahead and turn. Yeah. The Condor. Yo, 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 let me know in the chat box if you guys can hear Austin right now, please. If in just one word you could give me 
something you just took away from Alex. I see, you know, action, value, present, focus, growth, massive inspiration, prospect, knowledge. Someone said gold, leadership, Bugatti. <laughs> Let's get it. Desire, work, 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 work. All right, guys, let me just tell you what. If you're ready for the for the nuggets, guys, I'm ready to come on here and share with you over the past couple of years what is allowed to take all of us to uh, to a higher dimension and a higher level within this business when it comes to the point of this call about you know building events, how to prospect, how to present the business. So everybody, if you're ready, go ahead and type one one one. Let's see it. Let go. Let's see the one one ones. Holy days, bro. One one ones are coming in. All right, here we go. There we go. I think. Yes, yes, sir, yes. Boom, bang. Mm. There we go. We should be good now. Yes. Here we are. All right. We got a lot of people on tonight's call, guys. So first and foremost, I just want to thank you for being on here. I want to thank Alex for coming on here, the big bro. Absolutely smashed it, guys. Uh, we're currently out here in London right now. It's 2.40 in the morning. Uh, you know, there's no excuses. You know, everybody on this call, you know, I just want to say thank you for taking your time out for your own success. Give yourself a pat on the back because this really, this really shows up for your success. You know, what I always talk about is staying around the campfire, just being present. 90% of success in this business is being present, being there, being at the events, being on the webinars, being in the presence of where the money's being made, being in the presence of where the value is, where the skill set is. So first and foremost, guys, go ahead and give yourselves a, uh, a congratulations to come on the back. And then also, I know, I know we have hundreds of people on this call. You know, I know it says 360 participants, but I know that we have well over 600 people, well over 600 people because some of the people on this call um, even just in my team, my organization, I know that they have rooms full of people right now. Rooms full of people. So if you guys are on the call, congrats to you. Um, but yeah, guys, I just want to let you know, if you do stay on to the end of the call, we're going to be giving away some prizes, giving away some cool stuff. People usually know that when they do webinars with me, every time I finish the webinar, we go ahead and just give out crazy stuff. Um, guys, we, we did an event out here in London um, two days ago, and there was 2,000 people at the event. And at the end of the event, literally, I must gotten so much trouble. I remember the, the security guards came over there screaming at me because, oh, my days. At the end of the event, we did the one, two, three people, right? Um, you know how we do the one, two, three, where I get people to visualize their success. And then at the end of it, on three, everyone screams and goes crazy. And what I did was <clears throat> we did something crazy. And uh, the whole crowd got lit. And I had like a, a couple racks of hundreds. And I remember at the very end, we just took the money and just threw it up in the air. It was madness. And then the, uh, the event coordinators, the security was tripping backstage. Why'd you do that? Somebody could have got killed. Somebody could have broke their leg. And I'm looking at my kneecap and I'm like, bro, do you see my leg? I'm like, if anyone's going to break their damn leg, it's going to be me, bro. And uh, man, it was absolutely savage. I had an amazing time with the family. So, you know, guys, take, take, take notes. You know, I think that one thing that I was just saying is, I could sit here in a, in, a, in a nice penthouse or a nice mansion every single time and do these webinars and whatever with my nice bookshelves and my nice office in the background. But, you know, when, when people see you on the move, you know, people don't listen to what you say. They watch what you do. So I could sit here and I could drop the most craziest nuggets for you guys. And it wouldn't even matter because if you guys would just simply watch what I do, if your leaders are watching what you're doing, which they are, they will duplicate that more so than listening to you. So people will never listen to what you say. They will always do what you do. So last night I was in the middle of the streets in the middle of London somewhere. My phone was dying. Alex Morton's in the back of the kitchen in the middle of Brazil doing an event. Guys, seeing, seeing that, that's how you just know the grind is real. So this whole entire week, guys, this is day two, the chairman boot camp. I am beyond excited. I'm very grateful to have you guys here. All these recordings will be uploaded onto my YouTube. Um, last night's recording will be uploaded tonight, and tonight's recording will be uploaded in the next 24 hours. So if you guys want to go ahead and repeat or rewatch the videos, that's where they will be. But uh, really quick, guys, why not let's start the call off and give away some – you guys want to do a giveaway real quick. You guys want to do a giveaway real quick. You guys down for us? Should we do a little giveaway? Should we do a little giveaway? Oh, my days. Let's see. All right, we're ready. All right, why not? All right, guys, so real quick. I just made a post on Instagram, so why not? Everyone go to my Instagram. I'm going to give away some money right now. Some money. Why not? I love money. 
You know why I love money? Because money is a result of the value that you offer to the world. And money is a result of how many people you help. And money makes you more of who you are as a person. And also money allows you to go out there and give back more. We live on a planet that surrounds itself around money. So as Jermone talks about, I, I want to spend my whole life making as much. I want to spend, what did he say? I want to spend my first 30 years of my life. I don't really believe in that segment. But I want to spend the first half of my life making as much money as I can. So I can spend the second half of my life giving it all away. So if y'all want to go to my Instagram, I'm Austin Gotzi. I just made a post. Go ahead and blitz the last post of me here in London. Just go ahead and put your favorite emoji on it. Right here. See, I'm Austin Gotzi. I'll give you guys 27 seconds. Let's go. Go to I'm Austin Gotzi real quick. I just made a post. Go show some love. I'm going to give away some money right now and some social blur memberships for free Instagram marketing. Let go. They get it. 17 seconds is blown up. Bang. It's in the chat box. I'm on Sagazi. Just put the comments. Put the comments, guys, and we can wait some money. Hey. Hey. Oh my days, a thousand comments. <laughs> let's go, guys. Seven more seconds. Let's go. Seven more seconds. Let's see who's made a winner. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Block squad. We're all blocked. That's how you know we're grinding. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Big fair woman. No, I'm just kidding. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, all my days. 1,300 comments. All right, let's go through here. Let's go ahead and just give away some, some money. All right, let's look. All right, here we go. All right. Masuma Akhtar. Yo, girl. Go ahead and send me your PayPal, girl. I'm going to send you some money for Vegas. So go ahead and put it into your broker account. So all right, I'm assuming you want you won. Let's see who else we got on here. Who else can we give something away to? Let's go ahead and give a social blur membership, social blur membership away. Some Instagram marketing. You guys want some more leads every month? You guys want some more enrollments every month? Like Alex said, he doesn't like to brag or boast. I don't need to sit here and impress you guys, but I'd like to impress upon you that if you go to the top earners, in IML history, if you go to the leadership board, you'll see I have two accounts in the top 15. And that's not just from me or whatever, this, that, or the other. I'm not saying how great or how amazing I am. It's just to show that stuff works. So why not become the hunter instead of the hunter? All right, let's see who else. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, I'm, I'm just going through here randomly. So your name is uh, Only Yalin, right here. Bang, Only Yalin. Go ahead and uh, DM on the screenshot this. You just want a social blur one year membership to the VIP package. Let's see who else we can give some stuff away to. What else we got? All right, my man, my man Marcus Walker. What's up, cuz? It was crazy. Some of these people aren't even on my team. We just going ahead and giving out prizes to everybody. Hey, Marcus, my EG. Jeez. Go ahead and DM me, bruv. We're gonna get you plugged in. Give you a one year membership of that social blur, bruv. See if you don't get them enrollments popped up and help your upline rank up, huh? Jeez. You rank up though, right? So let's look at this. We'll give one more, one more away. Mm, let's see who else we got. Who else we got? Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. All right, let's see. All right. Get the sunflower. That song is so funny. I'm so done with that song. All right, let's see. We got, uh, let me see. Where else we got? All right, let's go ahead and do... Let's do my man right here. My man, Chris. I got you, bro. The last prize. Now, let's get to the freaking nuggets, man. I'm ready to rip. Oh, my days, Chris. Go ahead and DM me, bro. Just a screenshot. There we go. So, I got you on your one-year membership for Social Blur, bro. Oh, my days, guys. Let's go ahead and rip this call. Let me go ahead and uh, I'm gonna take my hoodie off. A hey, boogie with the hoodie. It's getting a little warm in here. Little sauce. So, guys, I hope you're ready for this call. Um, I'm really excited about this chairman boot camp to give you guys a lot of value away. Um, 
this is going to be a very raw call. Every call that we're going to do is going to be very straight to the point. If you guys would like me to be very raw and authentic, if I can be real with you guys, this is my call. This is not a company call. This is not the seven figure mentorship call. This is the chairman boot camp call. And for me, guys, I, I don't want to. I don't want to beat around the bush. I don't want to be somebody, uh, a stage person. I'd rather just be very authentic and give you guys what has helped me and enabled me to go. Chairman 100, not one time, but two times in the business after leaving and coming back to the company from ground zero. So if I can go Chairman 100 two times, I'm pretty sure that you guys can go Chairman 10 once, right? So if you guys want me to be real, say real in the chat box. If I can be real with you guys, say real in the chat box. Let's see. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, let's get it. So let's get right to it, guys. I don't want to waste any more time. I just want to start flooding your notebooks with value. And I got a ton of value from Alex. Look at this. You know, one thing that I study about the most successful people in the world is that they're always the students, man. And it's like, how, how can somebody who's, you know, made $17 million like Alex, how can somebody who's a multimillionaire, how can this guy making this much money? How can this, how can the people that are making the most money who have the most success and the most results, how the hell are they taking more notes and more students of the game of what they do? I don't care what artistry, what craft you're in. I don't care if you freaking knit quilts or you make pottery, bro. If you are a student of the game, that's how you're going to level up. The one who's willing to be coachable. So look at this, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm, let me look at my brightness. I mean, I'm, I'm really sitting here. And it's crazy because I went to an Yvonne Tapia event about a year and a half ago. And I remember when I walked in, it, it literally hit me in my head so hard. Look, I mean, you guys can see I'm just sitting here taking notes the whole time, bro. Look at the notes I took, right? I don't need to. And most people, it's funny, they still can do a certain level of success. I think I don't need to take notes anymore. I was in an Yvonne Tapia event and I had my, I had my son there. And having Aiden at an event is like stressful. He's running around doing crazy, being a madman. I'm trying to chase this little monster around. And the whole event... It's crazy to me because that was one of the first Yvonne Toppy events I've ever seen him in the trenches where he's actually doing a presentation. And I wanted to learn from him. Like, as a result, I want, right? I don't care if I, if I like this person, don't like that person. I'm willing to learn from them. So I remember there was chairmen in the back of the room. And I don't, I, I know that if these people are on the call, they know who they are. I don't give a shit because, bro, I'd rather tell you what you need to hear than what you want to hear and all that fake shit that people talk about. I'd rather be hated for being honest than love for being fake, right? So there was chairmen in the back of the room. You know who you were. Right? You know who, who you were. It was like a 300 person event. Chairmen's in the back. They're over there taking, taking photos of the Gucci shoes and Louis Vuitton. And they're talking. They're not even paying attention. And the man in front of the room's making millions. And they're trying to get to his level. And then there's Platinum 5000s, Platinum 1000s, Platinum 2000s. There's all these lead leaders across the room. I walk, out, I walk outside to take Aiden to the bathroom real quick. And I, Aiden's like, I have to go pee, I have to go pee. I'm like, Aiden, you piss your pants right now. Take these notes. I don't care what you got to do. And he's like, no, I really got to go pee. I'm like, all right, cool. So I take him to the bathroom. I go out to the bathroom. There's people in the hallway, do little hallway presentations, little hallway seminars, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, and, and, yo, can we get a photo, man? Like, no, bro. Why are you not inside? Why are you not inside taking notes? Why are you out here? The guy at the front of the room has the results you want. Why are you not in there taking notes? Guys, the whole event, I took, I took like six pages of notes. And while everyone else who, how is the person making 200 grand a month outworking the person making 2,000 a month? How is that person outworking the person making 200 a month? It makes sense to me, bro. The Platinum 150s weren't even taking notes. So it's like, man, always be coachable, always be a sponge, always be a student to success, guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I am fired up beyond belief to get in here with you guys. So let's just start it off with, uh, you know, I, re I really want to share with you what does it really mean? Um, I, I want to go over, you know, home events. I think that's one of the most important things that people overlook. They think because we're a service-based business. They think because this, they think because that. They think that they can just overstep how to build the business. They can just build the business behind their computer, behind their phone. And I'm telling you what, guys, I mean, if you've seen me work or Yvonne or Alex or Jason or any of these guys, you, you know what they do. Um, and, and you see how they grind. And it's not just by sitting on a computer or, you know, being a keyboard warrior. They're actually out there in the trenches. They're working their freaking butts off. So first and foremost, guys, I just want to say, uh, you know, it's pretty crazy. I, I had three chairmen pop my organization the past 72 hours. The past three days, three people I've had chairmen. And I was over here almost losing my voice, screaming before the call. Um, congratulations to Sebastian out there in Peru. You smashed chairman 10, brother. You haven't even gone public. It's disgusting, bro, your work ethic. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see you in a little bit. Um, Fran out there in Madrid. I was just out there in Madrid a couple of days ago. Fran, prop chairman 10. Super proud of you, bro. My broski. Um, also, Adrian Andujar, popping chairman 25 tonight. Um, my man has been chairman 10 for like a year and a half straight. 
um, trying to get over that hump, trying to get to chairman 25 and working his freaking butt off. And guys never quit. Quitters never win. Winners never quit. And finally, Adrian smashed chairman 25, my big bro's key. It's funny because he called me a couple days ago and he was like, yo, if I hit chairman 25 in Spanish, right? He was like, if I hit chairman 25 before a convention next week, he's like, will you buy me a Rolex? And, uh, and I didn't really like look at his volume. I looked at it after the call and I knew he was close. I didn't know he was that close. And I, I was like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll buy you a Rolex. <laughs> and then dude, like literally 48 hours later, he smashes chairman 25. So I'm not complaining. Those are good problems to have. So my man's going to get a little special present soon. But um, guys, aside from that, um, let's just go right into it. I want to go ahead and bring up a couple a couple bullet points, man. Where are we at with it? Let me see. Make sure I'm organized. Give me one second, guys. Please, 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 please. I don't know why my notes on my computer aren't transferring over. So freaking annoying. Here we go. Let me see. All right, I have a little bullet points right here. Let me see where we at with it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's open up a new note. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, so let's go into it. How to do home events, guys. You know, as we heard Alex talked about, you know, meetings are the blunt line of the business. You know, the five M's of network marketing are more meetings means more money. More meetings means more money. More meetings means more momentum. More meetings means more everything. The person who tells the story the most usually makes the most money. The person that's standing at the front of the room, the person with the marker, the person at the whiteboard, the person that's going and giving the presentations, usually the one making the most money, usually. And you guys want to strive to be that. You guys want to strive to go out there and be the one who is doing this. And guys, by the way, the, 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 the call from last night is already uploaded on YouTube. The one from tonight will be uploaded in a few hours, so don't worry about that. So, okay, let's get right into it, guys. Let's start your notes with how to do home events. How to do home events. Home events are the bloodline of the business. Guys, energy is at the events. You can do the one-on-ones. You can do the three-way calls. You can do the webinars. You can do all of these things, but events are where the energy is. And we know this, right? 80% of buying decisions are made from what? Logic or emotions? Emotions, right? People make emotional-based decisions. We're, we're emotional creatures. So it's not the logic. So you got to understand this. Kissing people is actually quite dirty. It's not logical. Our mouths are the dirtiest part of our bodies. Does it make sense? Dirtiest part of our bodies, but people still put their tongues down each other's throats. It's actually really dirty when you break it down on a scientific level. Makes sense? Now, it's not logical, but it's emotional. People make emotional based decisions. So when they get to the events, they see the credibility, they see the energy, they feel it. Guys, people want to feel it. And at the events, understand people will never remember what you said to them. They'll only remember how you made them feel while you were saying it. So it's very important to get them out of the events and get them around the energy. So number one, guys, practice. Practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. And also I was studying the best. When I came into network marketing, guess what I did? I unfollowed all my broke ass friends who would pause drinking, partying, and funny pictures and memes and people that didn't know for any value in my life. What I did was I went to Instagram and I unfollowed everybody and I followed only the people that I wanted to learn from. Um, now I only follow one person on Instagram, my son, because it's the only person I need to follow to stay focused. I don't know about this happening, the government shut down, what's going on over here, this happening, oh, there's another company in network marketing, you know, cross recruit. I don't know about any of this, man. Oh, first of all, Type in the chat box if you've had any problems from other companies trying to cross recruit your people, bro. Let me rip this shit apart real quick. Go ahead and type in the chat box if any other companies have tried to come in and take people from your team. Let me see in the chat box. Let me teach you something. Has any other company tried to come in and do a little funny shit? Let me give you a couple things. Well, first of all, you cannot build the tallest skyscraper in the city by going and tearing down other buildings. Won't work that way, bruv. It's pretty damn hard, too. It's pretty damn hard. First of all, you can tell a lot about a person by how the way that people speak about other people says a lot about, it says more about them than it does about the other people, actually, right? So what most people do is they try to go trash up other companies, do this, do that. And let me tell you what, guys, you're going you're gonna to experience all this. You're going to go through this in network marketing. It's like spring cleaning. It's like Forex, guys. 
Stay logical. Stop being so emotional. Remove your emotions from the business. You gotta become cold blooded. You gotta, you gotta become cold hearted. Stop being so pussy when it comes. Excuse my language, but stop being so soft in the business when things happen. Things do happen. This is business. This is why most people can't be entrepreneurs. That's why nine out of ten businesses fail because of mostly because people just their emotional intelligence. Do you guys know that? I was reading a book called Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Coleman, and in the book it talked about how. Most people that have 145 IQs work for motherfuckers with 95 IQs. That's why A students and B students work for C and D students or high school dropouts, or college dropouts, right? It doesn't matter how smart you are, brother. It's about how emotionally intelligent you are. So when this stuff happens, well, I'll pay attention to it. Guys, look, I'll be real. In the past couple months, listen, I lost a chairman 25 in Africa. I lost a chairman 25 in Belgium. I lost two chairman tens in France. Um, I lost countless amount of platinum leaders. Guys, my volume last year was at almost 2 million volume. 2 million volume per month. 2 million volume per month. You know what's embarrassing? People won't share the failures. I don't give a fuck. I'll expose my failures because that's what makes us real and authentic. People won't be human. What's the word humility? They won't be real enough just to tell you where their fuck ups are. And that's what makes you, that's what makes you valuable. Most people want to go out there and they don't want, everyone lives the Instagram lifestyle. They won't tell you that they deranked and they won't tell you they lost volume. First of all, I've never deranked in my whole entire network marketing career, right? Number one. And you guys should take pride in that if you do that too as well. You want to smash ranks, not hit ranks and just maintain ranks and try to balance your business. Now look, listen, my volume went from about 2 million volume per month, per month. The whole way down to about a million volume per month. I went from 2 million volume to 1 million month. I lost a million volume last year over like nine months. Every month, boom, 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 boom. Now, you can tell a lot about a leader by how they act when things are going wrong and shitty and how they act when things are going good. Everybody can be fucking happy Gilmore when things are going great. Anybody can act like it's Christmas morning when they're popping ranks and when things are going great. But how do you act when things are going wrong, when your teams are getting cross recruited when people quit your team, when people are telling you no, when things are happening here on this side of your business. Guys, the whole entire year last year, I stayed postured. I didn't show that. If you look at the best athletes in the world, you know, I, I've watched so many games where I've seen people break their fucking bones in a game and they continue playing the game. You know why? Because their team around them. If their team around them sees them hurt, if their team around them shows pain, it's going to rub up on them. Your leader can't show that. Whenever you're feeling down, it's okay to be human. You can feel sad. I'm not saying have no heart, have no emotion. I'm saying just don't, don't go complain. Don't go show it. Whenever you're feeling down, go up. Does it make sense? Whenever you're feeling down, go to your uplines. Go to somebody higher than you. Don't go spread a disease in your business. I lost a million volume last year. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know that? Did you guys see it? Did you guys on the stage? Did you guys feel that vibe for me? Nah, no one knew. And guess what? Now. Right now in IML, our organization, my, my organization has the fastest growing team in the whole entire company. In the past like two weeks, we've put over a thousand people in the business. In the past three days, we've had three chairman pop. Does that make sense to you? Does that, does that make sense? It doesn't matter. You build through it. You can tell a lot about a person about how they act when things are going wrong. And these companies will come and go. They're all, they're all, they're all fly by night companies. It's always going to happen. Guess what? I called it last night. It, we went through it out here in London and other places. You guys are little funny companies. And let me tell you something, guys. If the, like, I have a game plan, you know what we're going to do? You know, we're going to leave the company and then we're going to get, the, we're going to be the first ones in. And then we're going to go bring everybody else in on the other teams into our company. And then what we're going to do is we're not going to go to the leaders. We're going to go to all of their leaders. We're going to go to the bottom 150s and the plot 600s. And we're going to bring them in from the bottom up. <laughs> you down? Bro, people who follow those kind of people are freaking morons. They're idiots. And the people who attract those kind of people, oh, bro, they're not going to have long-term success. If that's how you have to build your business, like we were saying last night when that one, remember, we were just like, let them have their moment. This is their time to shine. Let them have their shine. This is, this is your moment, bro. This is your time to shine, bro. Do you, bro. But watch the spotlight burn out real quick after their 15 seconds of fame. Make sense? Let these other companies, let these other leaders who do that. When people leave my when people leave my team, guys, you know what I say? I congratulate them. I still offer to do trains for your team. 
I still tell them I care about them. I still ask how their family is doing. Let me ask you guys, do you only know people's volume and rank in your business? Or do you know the names of their parents? Do you know the names of their children? Do you know the names of their fucking wives? Do you know what your team's why or your leaders' wives are? Or do you just only know what their volume is? I've had so many people on IML, and I don't care to say this to you guys. Some of your leaders have left IML and they message me being like, yo, if I rejoin IML, I'm coming back to you because of the way people treat them. They treat them like they're pieces of meat. They treat them like, oh, I get it. So we're only cool because you were benefiting my paycheck. Oh, I get it now. Okay. Love them on the way in, love them on the way out. So when you guys experience this, it's okay. It's like Forex. Goes up, boom. Goes up, boom. It's retracements. It's to build a strong foundation. You don't want to build a, a house of cards. You want to build a house built on concrete and cement and steel. So as you, as you explode, you know, when people join the company and they're like, I'm going to bring in 5,000 people in one month. I'm like, that's, that's, not a, that's not a proper launch. That's a, that's a mess. That's a headache. I'd rather have one shark on my team than a hundred little sheep running around. <laughs> I don't want that on my team. I want lions on my team, bro. Does it make sense? I'd rather have one wolf on my team than a hundred little bunny rabbits jumping around other companies. I'd rather build slow to build fast. So it's okay, guys. Don't stress on it. I don't, when I came out here, did you, did you, you, you know about all the other company and this leader and that? No, bro. You know what I know? My goals. I don't care about all that. It's going to happen anyways. It happens. There's always going to be hits, always going to be things that happen. You got to build through. It takes time. Every time you build, you build up and explode and have a retracement. And you're going to, you're going to spring clean out all of the people that weren't supposed to be there. All of the ones who weren't there meant for your time. All the weak people will get weeded out. It's like it's like a garden, bro. Have you ever had a garden or had to clean out your garden? I, my, I used to have to do it, you know, growing up when we just like, clean out the grass, we do this. There's the weeds there. So when you're growing a garden, you have all these flowers, your leaders, your chairman, your pot fly, boom, boom. The flowers grow, and then you have the weeds growing, right? And what happens if you don't take the weeds out of the garden? The weeds will get to the flowers and kill the flowers. Make sense? So you're going to have to weed your garden a couple times a year. Stop stressing out. It's a part of the business. Once you understand that, things will make sense. Cool. Practice. You learn from trial and error. The more you practice, the better you are. Guys, the more you practice, and the more that you practice behind closed doors when nobody's watching, when the cameras are off, when people aren't watching you, when the girls aren't on the sidelines, and the guys aren't looking at you. That's look. The more that you practice when no one's watching, the less that you'll bleed in war. I'm telling you guys. Dude, there's been all oh my days, the things I've done behind a closed fucking door. That's that's why we are where we are. That's why you see Kobe Bryant. You know Kobe Bryant used to come in at like four o'clock in the morning. Kobe used to say he would he would make, not take, make eight hundred shots before the practice for the day would start. <laughs> so before every other person on the team would come to practice, he already made eight hundred shots, bro. You know what I say as a successful entrepreneur, what the best entrepreneur what the best people do in the world, they get more done before breakfast than most people accomplish in their whole entire day. Does that make sense? We do in a day what most people do in a month. So guys, practice. How do you get good at events? How do you get good at presenting? You fucking do it. When I first came into network marketing, oh my days, my first event, I was so terrified. My hands were shaking, my knees were buckling. I couldn't make eye contact with anybody in the crowd. I was so embarrassed, bro, because I felt so dumb. I had never spoken my entire life in front of a room. And I got up there. I had no idea what I was saying. I completely blacked out. There was literally piss going down my right leg. There was shit going in my underwear. I was so terrified, bro. You guys know that public speaking is the number one fear in the world. The number one fear in the world over dying. So that means at a funeral, people would rather be in the coffin than giving the eulogy. Isn't that crazy, bro? And we all know that fear isn't real. Fear stands for false evidence appearing real. You know, you either have fear or faith. They're both things that you cannot see. You can't see fear. You can't see faith. It's like, so which one do you obtain? Do you have a fearful mindset or a faithful mindset? One's scarcity, one's abundant. You dictate that. It's all mindset, bro. Mindset attracts everything. So practice. Doing more. Doing more presentation. Doing the calls. I, I, I used to do three-way calls and presentations where I, I remember the one presentation, I literally blacked out and was so embarrassed. My face got all red. I was so embarrassed. I just literally forgot everything that I was saying. And I, I, had, I literally had 30 seconds of straight blankness in front of a whole room. They were like, what the hell is going on? I used to do three-way calls where I would be in the middle of my calls and I feel so freaking stupid where I'd be like, edge out. And just hang the phone up. Because I had no idea what I was doing. And now people see us and I'm like, damn, bro, you're so nice. 
damn, you must have, bro, you must have always been a good speaker. Oh, now I know why you're chairman. Oh, now I know why you do. Oh, because you're good. No, man. Leaders aren't born great. They're created. They're created in the darkness. They're created in the gym. They're created when no one's watching, right? Repetition is the father of learning and the mother of skill. So practice. Number two, structure. Have it structured. Don't just ramble. Don't, don't just go into your events, your meetings, guys. Be, be organized. And how to study the other leaders. Like I said, when I came into network marketing, I followed all the seven-figure earners on Instagram. All I would see is what they were doing. I would just go through and just study them. Uh, <laughs> you guys get more hyped up. You guys get more hyped up. This is what's embarrassing. You guys, and I'm not even speaking directly. When I, when I say you guys, I'm not just like putting that upon you. I'm putting that upon myself because this is what I want. This, when I speak, I speak so aggressively in the manner and the demeanor of how I wish I would have spoken to myself years ago or how I wish someone would have spoken to me. I'm not coming at your necks. I'm just being aggressive of how I speak to myself. I look in the mirror when I do my calls. That's why I'm so aggressive because I can be so real with myself. And that's why I can like say the things that I say because I know that I can handle them. So guys, if you can't take the heat, then maybe sometimes you just got to step out the kitchen. Maybe the business is not for you. Entrepreneurship is not meant for everybody. Changing the world is not meant for everybody. Um, you know, going out there and doing the things that we do, it may not be for everybody and that's okay. But I'm going to tell you what, you know, if we, if, if Drake was doing an album release party for free on this zoom call, I bet you there'd be 15 times more people in the company on this call. Does Drake pay your fucking bills, bro? Is he going to retire your parents? Is a boogie with the hoodie gonna, you know, buy your mom a new car? You know, is young thug or little Uzi vert. I see people in the comments. Sorry, but people are so focused and curious and on people's success, they're more, they're more focused on other people's success than their own. That's crazy to me. People know more about other people than they even know about themselves. Isn't that crazy? People know more about the Kardashians than they even know about them. People know more about celebrities than they even know about their leaders. That's crazy. But we're doing a call for a five day boot camp, and we're giving you guys all the value and all the things away. And people are all on time. I got to work in the morning. I have work in the morning, bro. What are you saying? Well, if I wasn't chairman 100, I would do it. No. You do it, and then you become chairman 100. Does that make sense? So, structure. YouTube videos are there. I just don't know what to do. Be resourceful. The people who are successful don't have the most resources. They're, more, they're the most resourceful. Go out there and get the information. Go out there and find it. It's all out there. Go learn from it. Go study the videos. Go take notes. Over and over and over and over. Structure. Be organized. Next, where is it? Duplicate. Don't give people a fish. Teach them how to fish, right? You know, whenever people ask me for money, that's why I don't really like giving people, homeless people money. Like, w when I do the little money giveaways, that's different because people are earning it, right? People are earning coming on the call. People are earning, right? But duplicate. Number three is duplicate. So number one was practice. Number two is structure. Number three is duplicate. When people ask for money, I would say, I, I'd rather teach you how to get that money. Oh, dude, can I have the power leg? I'd rather teach you how to build power legs for other people. Make sense? So it duplicates. Now it works with duplicates. So pass it's on your team. Guys, the team with the most presenters makes the most money. Write that down. I'm telling you what. How many fire presenters do you have on your team? The team with the most presenters makes the most money. There it is. Look at, look at all the top leaders' teams. Look at all the presenters. Next, four, posers versus pros. Posers versus professionals. Posers don't do events. Or they do them last minute. They don't promote, report inviting, etc. Professionals are organized. They plan. They get outside their comfort zone to see success. Trial and error. They study those in the business who are successfully doing what you need to be doing. Professionals, how do you carry yourself? Would you join you? Look from the outside in. Would you even join you? Are you a professional or are you just a poser? And do you wait for your upline to do events for you? Do you wait when there's a webinar being held? Well, I'm just waiting for the weekly webinar. For what? Why don't you do one? Step up. Become the leader you're looking for. Well, my upline quit. My upline doesn't help me. Fuck it. Fire your upline. Right now, right here, fire the person who enrolled you. In the chat box, type the name of the person who enrolled you. Jason Brown, you're fired, bro. Roman, you out. Matt Rose, you're done, bro. Austin Gotti, you're eliminated. Lucas, you're out the picture. Type in your upline. Expose your upline in here. Fire them. Stop relying on them. 
Leverage them. Utilize them. Stop blaming your upline for your success. I don't give a shit who helps me in this business. I'm going to become successful or successful with or without them. Whether or not we all have the same comp plan, the same CEO, the same products, doesn't matter. It's fair game. Stop blaming your uplines for your success. Professionals take accountability for everything. Professionals, they always put the blame on themselves. Professionals, they're always looking at how they can fix things. Opposers, they always put the blame on somebody else. It's always somebody else's fault. No, it's his fault. You ever see people in, like, have it, we all know people that are in a relationship on Tuesday, and then by Thursday, they're in another relationship. On next Saturday, they're talking to another person. And they're always like, oh, it was their home. Oh, you know, they did. It, it's always their, it's always the other person's fault. And when it's always somebody else's fault, you know, maybe one person, two, three, four, five, if it's always somebody else's fault, there's a commonality in that picture. And we know whose fault it is, right? It's you. And also give the credit away to everybody else. When you stop caring, he gets the credit. Amazing things will happen. So, five, IPAs. IPAs, income producing activities, right? Are you just busy or are you productive? Well, I woke up, I read a book, I went to, uh, you know, I, w I went on the morning motivation call with Brandon Boyd. You know, I had some healthy breakfast. I went to the gym. You know, I, I meditated. You know, that I, I was mastermind with my team. I made a, a motivational post on Instagram. That, what? That's being busy. Guys, if your team duplicated what you did today, what would it look like? Productiveness, be productive. Meetings. Home events, one-on-ones. The only time you're grinding is when you're in front of a customer who's willing, capable, and able to buy your product. Does that make sense? Get outside the comfort zone. Guys, are you busy or being productive? Face-to-face -face with prospects, events. Number six, five M's of network marketing. When is the best time to do IPAs? There's never a best time. There's never a perfect timing. People say, well, I'm waiting for the right time. What? What does that mean? I'm ready, for the, I'm ready for the perfect timing. There is no perfect timing. You create the perfect timing. You create the right timing. Make sense? What's number six? Number six, you guys ready? Five M's of network marketing. Like we said, more meetings means more money. More meetings means more momentum. Get right into it. Go, go, go. Home event within your first couple of dates. Well, I'm going to wait to see results first. Well, I'm going to wait till I have a testimony. Well, I'm going to wait until I understand what I'm doing. What the hell does that even mean? When I would work my jobs, when I got hired at McDonald's, you know, flipping cheeseburgers and handing out French fries, I, I didn't wait to understand where everything was, how to work the cash register. I, I didn't know what the hell, I was doing it. And, and, and get a job. When you first worked your job, when you went in day one, day two, day three, did you know everything? But what, within the first month, you know, like the back of your hand. Guys, you don't need to know how to do it. Well, I wanna, I wanna have results. I, want to, I, don't, I just want to go out there and build the business if I, if I just don't feel confident enough. I don't have results in it. That's the stupidest shit I've before ever heard in my life, bro. Why would you do that? We're in the business of leverage. There's, there's success stories everywhere. Guys, when I first joined the company a couple years ago, before Jason Brown, before Matt Rosa, before Brandon Boyd, before Alex, before Dave, before Yvonne, before everybody, we came in. There was only like 200 customers in the whole company. There was never a Platinum 2000 or above in the company. Never! We had no leverage! We couldn't leverage another chairman. We couldn't build off of somebody else's success. It was pretty hard. We had to have belief. Can we go chairman? It's never been done before. Guys, there's almost 200 chairmen in the company. What, what are you waiting for? Leverage stories. The person who tells the story the most wins. Learn to leverage. People around you have the success. You don't need to have results. You don't need to know what you're doing because of the system. The system. You leverage the webinars, the events, you're able to leverage other people's success and have them speak for you in credibility until you have your own. So now let's go into it, guys. We're going to go into how you structure home events. This is not number seven. This is a whole new entire thing. How to structure home events. I'm going to teach you guys how to build from a small level. Um, I'm not going to teach you guys on a bigger level because you guys will learn as you go. You know, when you do the hotel events and you organize, you know, the every 90 days you have the big events, you know, you always want to be building towards something. You don't just want to go out there and, you know, you have a home event and then you don't know when your next event is, or you're not building towards the convention or building towards uh, a regional in your city or a big, a big hotel event where you have a big leader coming out. So that's, we're not going to really go over that. We're going to go over how to build at when you're brand new to the business. How do you structure events when you're brand new to the business? You have no success. 
you've never been in MLM before, you have nobody on your team, how do you build? So, how to start your home events. Number one, wherever you're doing it, people go, well, like, when I launch somebody, right when I launch them, first thing, okay, bro, when in the next 72 hours can you do your first event? Wait, what? What? 72 hours? I don't know how to do that. Exactly. How do you get good at something? You do it. So, when in the next 72 hours? Well, I just, I still with my mom. I live in the basement. And I, she just thinks it's like a, a Ponzi scheme and she'll let me. Bro, do you want to make a lot of money or a little money? No, I, uh, I just want to make a lot of money. Okay. Okay, you're a billionaire. You're a millionaire right now in the sense of you're going to have a million dollars or you're going to have a million excuses to why you can't do the business. So are you going to keep sitting here feeding the excuses or are you going to figure out a way to do this? Starbucks, coffee shops, in your college, there's at a park. And you guys, I've done presentations in the back of parking lots. I've done presentations in the back of dumpsters in the middle of Mexico in the hood. I think I'm lying. Ask Fernando Madero. Before we were chairman, we wouldn't have we didn't have money for hotel events. We didn't we didn't have houses to go to. We didn't have big teams in countries. We were running through Guadalajara. I remember we were in the hood. I was terrified as hell. We're literally in an alleyway, and we're both platinum right. We're not even chairman, and we're doing meetings off of the back of a broken laptop, on the back of a, a 1988 Honda Civic, and there was like three people there, and they spoke no English. Oh, wow. It's so, it's so crazy how you're chairman 100. It's really not. Just put the work in. There's no excuse. Where are you doing your event? Coffee shop. Make, make sure it's, it, it's a professional environment. You know, when I first launched the business five years ago in network marketing, I lived in the ghetto, in the hood, in a little two-bedroom apartment. Oh, my days, bro. People were coming to my house. There was literally, uh, I'm not even scared to say it. I asked Julian Kushner. Julian came out to my city once. And when he came to my house, he was like, he was like, bro, am I, he's like, I'm not trying to be rude, but like, do you care if like we see one of your homies' houses? That us literally had roaches in my house type shit, bro. The holes on the wall, the cats in all of the hood would piss all over the alleyways. Smell like piss in my house during the summertime because it would heat up the piss from the sun, beating on it all day. So disgusting. And I was trying to build in my house. People would come inside, and I'm trying to teach them about how we're gonna make a lot of money and how we're gonna do things. I'm trying to teach about financial etiquette, and they're walking in my house like. This shit doesn't even add up. Guys, make sure it's organized. Number one, make sure it's a clean, organized environment. No trash, no dishes. Get a candle. If you're doing home events, we, we would build out of basements, bro. The way that we, the way that I got to turn 102 times, it wasn't hotel events. Not me. Not me. Nope. We did it in basements, in people's family rooms, in diners, in coffee shops. Make sure it's a good environment, right? Number two. Make it duplicatable. You know, maybe have like some water bottles, you know, nothing crazy. Don't have like flame and yawn steak. I'm going to know that. People love food. I'm going to have steak and shrimp. You can't duplicate that. Maybe have some pretzels, some, nothing crazy. Some waters. Make it comfortable for people, right? Number three, music. Set the vibe. Everything is about vibes. Whenever music turns off at a party or at a club or at a home event or anything, the second the music goes off, bro, I literally say, Every second that goes by that the music's not on is like, you know how Pokemon have the health power? And it's like every second the music's not on is like, boop, 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 boop. Just crushing the vibe. Keep music on. Have music playing before they come. And don't have rap music or trap music on. Uh, what, what do we usually type in? We type in like, um, it's like the summer house music. Like type in like some house music mix, some good vibes. Everybody can vibe to it. Some everybody can rock with, whether it's a five-year-old or a 55-year-old. Some everybody will vibe to. Um, no swearing in the songs. You know, someone, something that everyone can relate to. It breaks the ice, makes it less awkward. Um, number four, good vibes. When you're the host, you're the host. Socialize. Don't be sitting in the back room too cool. Don't be on your phone or just over with your leaders. Walk around the event. Make people feel good. Introduce people. Shake people's hands. Uh, welcome them. Build the culture, trust, relationships. Introduce yourself. Compliment people. Walk around the room and set those good vibes and break the ice. I'm telling you, it goes a long way. You, you want your events to be to the point where even if people come and they don't join, at least they leave the event being like, yo, this is some cool-ass people. You know, like, dude, those people are hella cool. Not when... People are like, oh, you about the IML thing? They're like, yeah, these guys are freaking a-holes, man. They're weird, bro. Like, 
that should be the last thing people would ever say about you. When people leave our events, it's like whether they join or not, they're still like, yo, that, that was that was dope. Like it was chill. I was, I didn't join. So next, connect the laptop to the TV. Have the presentation showing. You'll be showing the products we offer. Um, guests need visuals to understand and be more intrigued. Um, start with a lifestyle video, maybe. I, I, I always thought one of my lifestyle videos and get them hyped up um, with emotion. Um, set the vibe. Um, also, have one of your uplines, P600 or above, willing to, to, to uvu, uh, I said uvu, willing to zoom into the call, right? Have them at the, uh, have them at the end of the event be ready to come in and close. So even me, as a chamber 100, I know that I can close people, but I still call Chris. I still call Jay. I don't need them. I don't need Chris to close my events. I don't need Alex to come in and hype people up. I can, I do that stuff myself, but I still do it because it's the system of leverage. And then what it does is, even if you're like, I know I can do it. I know I can close my own events. I don't need any help. But guess what it does for other people? When people see you do an event or a meeting and you edify and leverage and have somebody else come in and close your call you know what that does for them to your prospect they're sitting there going huh that's cool this is like a team i'm not by myself when you are up there and you're finessing and you're real good at it they're like dude i can't speak like alex i can't speak like him i dude i'm not joining this business i can't do that but when they see that system where you call somebody in and then they help you close the event they're like dude that's pretty sick. Like it's a team. Like it's a team. I have help. I don't need to be that good. I have other people here that are willing to help me and build with me. Does that make sense? Guys, if you're getting value on the call, type in one on one. Let me see if you guys are even paying attention. Are you guys sleeping? Are you guys still awake? Oh, you guys fell asleep. Jeez. Chat box is going crazy right now. Hold on real quick. Let me see if you guys are still awake. Let's get it. <laughs> Hey! If you guys are getting value from the call, oh, real quick, let's do another giveaway, real quick, guys. Why not? So we give away some more money, guys. Type in yes if you guys want some money or some social blur giveaways. So we give away some free stuff. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's go back to Instagram real quick. Go back to Instagram, and let's go ahead and do this. So let's do – so look at this. Go to my Instagram real quick. Real quick, 30 seconds. Go back to my Instagram, and we're going to do this. Here's my IG. If you don't know, now you know. Right here, this video I posted. Go ahead and comment blur B L E R R. Go ahead and comment B L E R R on this video right here. And I'm going to go ahead and give some smug. We're going to give some VIP memberships away to the Instagram marketing company. We're also going to give away some money right now to help you build your business. My IG name is right here. I'm Austin Gotzi because I'm Austin Gotzi. So guys, real quick, go ahead and put the comment section. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Blitz, blitz, blitz. Type in B-L-E-R-R. -R. Here we go, guys. A couple more seconds. 15 seconds. We're going to give away some prizes. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. Hey. All right, almost done. Let's go. Seven more seconds. Oh, my day. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Everyone's getting blocked because they're doing it so much. Oh, my day. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, drum roll, let's go ahead. Let's just start throwing it out. Hey. Let's see, let's see. My man, J. Carl, J. Carlo FX. My G, you won, bro. Go ahead and DM me. 
We're gonna get you a free membership for a year. Let's get it, let's go! Let's see. Hey, my dude. Who else we got on here? Let's see. And most of these people aren't even on my team, bro. Who does that? Let's see who else we got on here. Hey, hey, hey. Here we go. Yes, I'm Bria. What's up, Brianna? Got that one year membership. Let's go. Hey, hey. Let's see who else we got out here. Let's see who else. Let's see who else. Last one, last one. Hey, hey, hey. All right, count down. My boy Jose, let's get it. Congrats. Bang. All right, cool, guys. I screenshotted you. So, congrats to you three. You guys have won memberships for a year for Social Blur. And watch how you start out enrolling everybody in your country. No lie, no gas. Sheesh. All right, cool. So, let's do it. We about to make moves right now and cap off the rest of this call. But a few more things to talk about. Um, and for all those who stay on the call at the end of it, we're going to do another giveaway. Don't think we're done yet, guys. All right, here we go. Let me see. Oh, my days. That video just got 2,000 comments. That's crazy. Here we go. Now, all right. Let's go really quick. I'm going to fly through the rest of this video, guys. If you're okay, if you guys don't mind that I take my time on this, I, I have so much more value to share with you guys, a lot. But I'm feeling like that we may be taking a little long. But if it's okay with you, guys, it is 3.30 in the morning over here in London. I have We barely slept the past couple of days. We just probably got a good amount of sleep tonight. Um, passed out. But, guys, we haven't passed five days count on one hand how many hours of sleep we had so if you guys want me to keep going and keep running let me know because i will i will give you step by step what to do at your events how to build how to structure awesome people are ready for it so let's get let's go right into it so all right first speaker the first speaker give me one second guys but i i need to why i need to drink something real quick i had a little bit of food before this and i feel like my mouth is hot right now bro my breath stinks and I need to just literally, I need, I need some water real quick to just brush my mouth. Hold on. I need some water. I'm scared for stuff. So, guys, give me one second. If you feel good, if you feel good, you do good. You know what I'm saying? If you look good, you feel good, then you do good. So, give me one second, guys. Hold on. Just give me it. Hey, 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 hey. Poor boys have some heart mouth. All right, let's get it. Money moves. Money moves. Money moves. All right, cool. My bad, guys. I was just talking for so long, and my mouth was hella dry. I need it. 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 Give me one second. Let me see what's going on. All right, cool. So here we go. 
All right. Oh, my days. Here we go. So let's go right into it. So first speaker, guys. First speaker is the host. First speaker is the host. First speaker is the host, the person who brought the most people, right? So even if it's your event, if one of your leaders brought more people, then you got to understand that they should open up. Always be allowing new people to get up there and speak. Don't always just have the most highest ranked person or the one with the most. No, have your newest. We have our newest Platinum 150s open up. The person with the most people that, the person that brought the most prospects usually opens up the event because most people are there with that person. Step outside the comfort zone. One to two minutes. Keep it real short. Save for the main speaker. They're excited. Most contagious form of human emotion is enthusiasm. Be passionate. Be excited. People will never remember what you say, only how you make them feel when you say it. My first couple home events, I would get up there and just start screaming at people. I was so excited. I didn't, I didn't, like Alex said, you don't have to know. You just have to know where you're going. I knew where I was going. And people, by the time the event was done, they were like, I don't know what the hell he just said, but I'm, I'm ready to sign up. <laughs> they were just excited, right? Thank you, people, for coming out. Real quick, hey, guys, I want to thank you all for coming. Um, what they basically say is, you know, you're here because, you know, somebody actually appreciates you. They must trust you like you're respecting enough to bring you here. You know, thank the person who brought you. You're only coming because you've been invited. Um, next, story, testimony, vision real quick. Hey, guys, you know, my story, you know, um, blah, 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 came from here. Didn't grow up with money. You know, always wanted to do something bigger in life, blah, blah, blah. Wasn't the smartest person growing up. STV, story, real quick. One to two minutes total, guys. Don't, the first speaker's not up there for five, 10, 20. No, one, two minutes real quick. Come up. Hey, pay attention. Turn your phones off. I'm really excited. Thank the person who invited you. Guys, you know, my story, I came from here, wasn't rich growing up, wanted to do more in life. Now, a quick testimony. Got an IML two months ago. I'm Platinum 1000. I'm traveling. I'm doing this. I'm about to retire. Do, uh, blah, blah, blah. Vision. Guys, where I see this thing going, you know, we're about to blow this thing up. We're about to become a billion-dollar company in the next two, three years. So fired up. You know, we have the Vegas convention in a week and a half. 10,000 people there. Excuse me. And, uh, yeah, STV, story, testimony, vision, real quick. And then edify the next speaker. Usually what I do um, is I just say, hey, look, big, big of up. Like Alex talked about, edify them. They don't need to be edified, but edify them to show, to, to gain that. Sense of credit. So they don't have to go up there and talk about themselves. Compliment them and share their accomplishments and what they've done in the business, um, where they're ranked in the business. People want to know what they're, what, they're, what, they're, what they're doing. They want to know their rank and where they are. It gives credibility. Um, and then what I usually close off with is, a, is a, kind of like a fear of loss, letting them know like, Hey guys, whether, whether you join with, with or without you guys tonight, um, you know, this thing is going to go to a billion dollar company. What I usually say is, Hey guys, keep an open mind. You know, n number one, be respectful, put your phones down, um, keep them on silent. And, and, I, and I'll be really aggressive. I'll say, look, what we're doing here is, is by far more important than what any of us can be doing right now, because this is literally creating history. I say, look, I've never in my entire life seen an obnoxious amount of money being made all across the world with, with people these ages. And this thing is really a movement right now. So pay attention because with or without you, this is happening. And I'll say, look, keep it open mind because a closed mind is the most expensive thing you can own in this economy. Pass it off. That's first speaker. One, two minutes, right? Second speaker. Here we go. Second speaker. Oops. Second speaker. Five, 10 minutes. Real quick. About 10 minutes. They come up. You know, we use the presentation. You guys have the, the, the charts you go through real quick. They don't want to go too long. And what I usually do is I, I have these things called the five stories, right? So here, here's how we go through this. There's five stories that this person tells. Now, this is my system, and I love it. It's worked for me. Now, the five stories go like this. Number one, their story. Number two, their upline story or somebody, you know, above them that has a lot of success, how far they've come. Three, the economic story. Four, the industry story. Network marketing, 4X. And then five is the team and company story. You guys need, to, you guys need me to repeat that?
Number one is your story. Number one is, is the person's story speaking, right? Number two is the upline story. So number one, their story. Real quick, not, not the sob story, the STV. Story, vision, boom, 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 real quick. Basically showing them that you're, you're a normal person. You're an average person, you're not better than them. Upline story, how far they've come. Number two, upline story. It's good to hear somebody else's story outside of your story. Number three, economic story, right? You want to talk about, you know, fear. Of, uh, there's, there's the, people have a greater fear of loss than a desire to gain. You know, talk about, I, I, I go in briefly, you know, student loan situation, what, where we are in the world, you know, the, the average, you know, I talk about how, you know, we're all God's highest form of creation. We deserve to make more than, I feel like we should not have a price stamp on our heads. Um, you know, talk about, uh, I, I let them know, you know, out of a hundred people that die today, look, 85% of people die broke in debt or with nothing left. Um, you know, the economics are what's happening. You know, I, I'm like, look, you know, just last week, you know, JC Penny fired 18,000 employees. McDonald's has replaced with the robots. I sh you, the world's changing. Robert Kiyosaki, the most, he has the number one finance book of all time ever sold in the world. And this man said in the next 10 years that there will be no middle class. No middle class. You will not be a middle class citizen. You will either be rich or you will be broke. So if you don't join the business tonight, does not matter. It's happening with or without me or you. Cool. You don't join? Amazing. Nice to meet you. See you later. But what you should take from this is make this decision. In 10 years, will you be broke or rich? There will be no middleman. I didn't say this. This is not me just screaming at you guys. Go look up Jeff Bezos. Go look up Mark Zuckerberg. Go look up all the economic uh, professionals in the world. Go look up Robert Kiyosaki, Donald Trump. They're the ones saying it. Not me. I'm just... I'm the bearer of the news. I'm telling you, this is what's happening. Charles Darwin, what do you say? The people that are most willing to adapt survive. Not the smartest, not the strongest, but the fastest. The ones who are willing to adapt, you must be willing to change. Albert Einstein said, you can measure intelligence by a person's willingness to adapt. The people who can adapt and change measures your intelligence. That's why I feel like I'm intelligent. I'm willing to change. I'm a chameleon. I'm going to move with how the economy moves, the marketplace, and some people are just so stuck on it. So the economic story, right? That's number three. The industry story, network marketing, Forex, the facts. You know, when we open up the presentation right there, you guys, you know, it, it goes into what is IML, what is Forex. And, and I, I briefly, in a nutshell, break down what network marketing is. So basically, guys, network marketing in a nutshell, it's word of mouth advertising. And I say, look, back in the 1970s, the 80s, the 90s, our freaking moms, dads, grandmas, and grandpas built companies like Mary Kay, Avon, Herbalife, all these lotion, potion, powder, pill, and bug juice companies. They built these companies with no Facebook, no Instagram, no social media, no smartphones, no laptop, no Wi-Fi, no internet, no, no Bluetooth, no nothing, no technology, none. And they built these companies by word of mouth speaking to billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars, billions of dollars. Now, what do you think is going to happen now when we're living in the most socially connected demographic to ever walk the face of the earth? We're living in one of the worst economies since the Great Depression, and we're marketing and sharing a service that pays us to use it without recruiting. What do you think is going to happen? Share the story. I say, hey, look, uh, two and a half years ago, this company was doing maybe about a million dollars a year in revenue. Mm, last year in 2018, we did $187 million in revenue. Hmm. Um, that's one of the fastest growing companies, not in network marketing, but of all time. Do your research. Go look up Apple. Go look up Amazon. Go look up FedEx. Go look up ESPN. Go look up Ford. Go look up Exxon Mobil. Go look up the biggest companies on planet Earth. Walmart. Still, I'm going to do $200 million a year in revenue. Are you joking? Come on, bro. Tell the, the industry story. Network marketing, Forex, facts. I'm sorry, that, that, was, that was more for the, the team in the company. I kind of implemented the company into that. The industry, poor industry, network marketing. I say, look, network marketing. I say, uh, I say look, when, when you drive past a billboard on the highway, do you call the number? No. When you're watching commercials on TV, you even watch commercials on TV, you even watch TV anymore? You have Netflix, Hulu, this, YouTube, Instagram, they're spending millions on advertising. Last year, Red Bull spent $1 billion on advertising to have a man jump out of a freaking airplane from space, slap 
a sticker on Sean White's helmet. And it, it, it's stupid. Why not pay the people? You know, when you go to YouTube, five, four, three, two, one, we skip the ads. We don't pay attention. Marketing is changing. 87% of people's buying decisions usually come from peer to peer word of mouth. That's how we buy things. And over the next 10 years, over 60% of all consumer goods will be sold through word of mouth advertising. Crazy, bro. Over 60% of all consumer goods. I say these things and I say, so basically network marketing in the show, what this is, is we don't pay. The company doesn't pay for advertising budget. They don't sponsor Drake and athletes. They take all that money and put it back into the people who go out there and word of mouth advertise it. Make sense? Very simple. Forex, you know, in, in the slide, in the power pump, right there, for, what is Forex? Go into it, show them what Forex is. And I show them, like, I, 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 what I ask in every presentation, I say, who, who here has a smartphone? Who here has a smartphone? And I, everyone raises their hand and I say, look, if you have this little device, think about this. This is more powerful than the Oval Office back in the 1980s, the president's office. This is more powerful than the first spaceship that went to the moon. You guys have it in your pocket. And I say, look, are, do you pay your phone every month or does your phone pay you every month? Which one is it? What side are you on? Are you, are you working smart or are you working hard? Right? And then last, team and company story. CEO, so dedicated, legacy of a currency. So, so, so where are this company really going? And show that it's not just about the money, but what it's really about. Show how it's really about people first, people over profits. You know, why Chris Terry created this company is not just to make money. My man already has a lot of money. He did it to really create a legacy out there with helping bring Wall Street to Main Street, helping the average person be able to go out there and earn more money from their phone every month, right? So what we're doing. So those are the five stories, right? And then really quick, um, they'll just go into, you know, maybe, you, you, maybe they'll go right up to where the products begin, right? So that, that so the, the, the beginning speaker will just open up real quick. They don't, they don't go into any of the slides. The next speaker, they'll go into the what is Forex, cash flow quadrant, whatever presentation you're using until it gets to where you start doing the products. That's where they'll pass it off to the usually third and final speaker. Or maybe you have one more speaker at the very end coming for the compensation plan, the, the best rank, or you, you call someone in, but you, usually three speakers per event, four, five, six, no, no way, but that's way too many speakers. So third and final speaker, um, this, oh yeah, and the second speaker, they'll edify the last speaker, obviously, and they always, somebody have, you know, with real credibility, you know, they'll, they'll get the crowd really hyped. Um, hey, I want everyone to give you a huge round of applause, blah, 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 let's welcome up, bang. Final speaker, now this is the one with the most credibility and knowledge, right? Um, this, this person has living proof, it's working, this can be a FaceTime call or they're at the actual event. Um, if they can't show up, you know, Zoom call them in, schedule with your upline before the call, right? Um, now, I'm going to go with you guys through five objections. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you something that has literally helped my business go to another level. I want you guys to type in the number five if you really want these five objections. If, if you guys got value from that other five, the five stories, because people love stories. Stop trying to sell people the ingredients. Stop trying to sell them the features, right? share the benefits. When you see a McDonald's commercial, do they sit there and freaking talk about how many grams of protein are in the burger? Do they tell you what it is or how it's made? No, they show a pretty girl eating a cheeseburger laughing her ass off on a, on a park bench, right? It's about the lifestyle. It's about this story. So when you're sharing this, guys, I'm telling you, it's emotions. People don't care about a harmonic scanner. Yes, they care about it. Obviously, we're not just selling air. We're selling valuable products that work. But people want to know, what will this do for me? When they're watching a the presentation, they're thinking about their child, bro. They're thinking about their mom who's struggling, working a job nine to five every single day. They're thinking about their, how, what, what can this do for me? The, two, the things that people are thinking is, number one, if I join this person, will they help me become more successful? Whether it's money, mindset, whatever that means to them, health, lifestyle. Then they're thinking, what, what, this, what can this do for me, right? So the five objections, and this is powerful because when you can start to overcome objections in network marketing, that's how you can close people so much better. And during the presentation, when I use these, it's so crazy because when I do these five objections, by the end of the event, people will come up to me and they'll be like, bro, it's so crazy that you were going over those objections during the presentation. You literally answered all my questions because- most people that say they can't join or whatever excuse they have, 
it's it, it's going to be one of these things, right? So we're going to go through the five objections. So here we go. Um, and I, 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 I integrate these into my speech. So you, you got to cover these. Answer these questions for your guests. Um, they already have these, these, these thoughts and these alibis and these excuses in their head. So um, number one is going to be money. Number one's money. Guys, everyone has the money excuse. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. And, and we know it's all bullshit, right? So overcome the money. You know, what I say, I, I, hey, money. I didn't have the money when I joined I Marcus Live. I was homeless. I didn't have money. I had, to, I had to borrow. You guys are lucky. It's $200 to join IML. When I joined, it's $500, bro. It's $500 to join. Guys, I used to have, oh my days, I had to borrow the money from my roommate. <laughs> I didn't, we didn't have the money. That was one of the reasons why we even split an account because we didn't have the money. We had to split an account the first time I was on IML. The first time I went Channel 100 was with my boy. Not even because we wanted to so much. We did, but it was because we were so broke, we couldn't even create two accounts. So I said, it was crazy. So let them know. I didn't have the money. And if maybe if you had all the money, if this guy didn't have the money, it's not about the money, right? So you show them this. You say, look, if you don't have the $200, when, when will you? If you don't have $200 right now in your bank account, when will you have the 200 bucks? If not now, then when? Never let the lack of money inhibit you from making more money. I say, look, if I put up in a brand new Bentley, you know what I usually do at my events? I'll say, who's new here to the event? Who's new? Who's new? Who's new? And everyone raises their hand. Guys, 85% of Americans don't even have a thousand dollars in their fucking bank account. Isn't that some sad shit, right? And people have been working jobs for three, five, 10, 15 years. So it's obviously not working. If you don't have a thousand dollars at the events, I'll say, you know what's crazy? If you don't have $200, for an opportunity, whether it's this or what, if, if an opportunity arises in your life and you don't even have $200 to help your future become better, when will you? Does, what? And okay, someone, who, who's new here? Who, 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 who's not in the business? Raise hand. I'll go pick one random person. I'll say, hey, hey bro, what's your favorite car? What's your favorite car? Um, uh, just um, Lamborghini. Okay, cool. What color? Uh, black. What color rims? Uh, black. So black on black. Okay, cool. What color interior? Black. Red. Uh, cool. Manual or automatic? Manual. Uh, drop top, hard top. Raindrop, drop top. <laughs> and I'll say, okay, what, what kind of seats? Leather seats. Cool. So if I put, I'll, I'll ask, if I put up in a brand new Lamborghini right now, black on black, drop top, manual, leather seats, red leather interior. If I pull up in that brand new Lambo right now, I'll ask in front of the whole room and I say, look, and I almost make it seem like I have that Lambo. I'm like, yo, if I'll give you the Lambo, if I'll give you that Lamborghini, if I would hand you the keys and say, look, I'll give you the Lamborghini, if you can find $200 in the next 24 hours, would you find the money? Every single time I ask that question, they say yes. They say, yes, I'd find the money. Yes, I'd find the money. Yes, I'll get the money. Right? And then what I say is, I, 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 I don't like target this person. What I'll say, I'll say, but most people say they don't have the money for an opportunity or a business, but then they have the money for the car. And then what I'll say is I'll say, so people value a car more than their future. Isn't that sad, right? People always have the money, right? Don't let the reason you need this be the reason you won't join. So time, next is time. I don't have the time. Not true. We all have 24 hours in a day. LeBron James, Barack Obama, Tom Brady, Christopher Terry. We all have 24 hours in a day. Oprah Winfrey, we all have 24 hours. doesn't matter. It's how you allocate your time that makes a difference. And I'll say, look, the average American spends three and a half hours a day watching TV. Everyone has the time. You need to reprioritize something that will change your life. You got to figure out what in your life is really, you know, t taken away from your success. You know, whether it's the Taco Tuesdays, the Thursday Thursday, the Waste of Wednesdays, the par partying every weekend, you know, whether it's Netflix and chill with your girl, everyone has time. Even if you work a full-time job, look, there's 168 hours in a week. I use the thing, I don't have the time. And I'll even say, I have people in my business crushing this thing that have a full-time job. I'll, I'll, look, I'll say Brandon Boyd has, you know, 67 children, bro. This guy is a man of God. He has a wife. He uh, does other business. Dude, he, had, he has a whole family to take care of, bro. He's a family man. And he still is a chairman 50 and makes the time for this. If he can do it, why can't you? 
And I'll say, Todd, there's 168 hours in a week. Okay, cool. You work full time? Oh, I work. I'm so bad. I work a full time. Oh, okay, bro. Shut up. Listen. You work 40 hours a week. What? That was weird. You work 40 hours a week, right? So 168 hours in a week. You work 40 hours a week, right? Okay, cool. And then you sleep 40, 50 hours a week. And if you're broke, struggling in life, you should not be sleeping like it's your full-time job. How are the millionaires getting two hours, three hours of sleep a night, and the people who can't even pay their freaking bills are sleeping eight hours a night? That does not make any sense to me. So, okay, cool. You get your 50 hours of sleep a week. Then you work another 40. That's 90 hours in a week, right? You still have another, what, 78 hours in your week? What the hell are you doing when you have the 78? Okay, you drive to work in the morning. Okay, you brush your teeth, you eat your breakfast in the morning, you kiss your dog goodbye, say goodbye to the kids. You spend two hours in your morning dollying around, okay, driving to work on the way home from work. Let's say, I should say okay, three hours a day is you waking up, showering, eating, commuting to and from work. And I know most people don't spend three hours. Maybe you're taking too long. Three hours. That's 21 hours in a week. That's 111 hours. We now still have 57 hours up in your week. What the fuck are you doing with 60 hours in a week, bro? Stop bullshitting. You come home. You have, nine, you have a nine to five? Well, now what do you do from five to nine? And no bullshit? You want to be really successful? Bro, what do you do from five to 2 a.m.? And let's be real. Okay. Come home. Spend a long time with your fat. Thumb is important, bro. Okay. From five to seven, kiss the kids. Hang out. You throw the, the, the ball to your dog for 10 minutes. You hang out with your wife, whatever. From 7 p.m. to 2 a.m., what are you doing? Well, I'm tired. Well, you're going to die broke then. If you are born broke, that's not your fault. If you die broke, that's your fault. There's no excuse. What you do in between that time is that's up to you. Don't victimize yourself. I don't care where you live, where you're from. We all have crazy stories. It doesn't matter. So it's what you do at that time. Everyone has time. And I, I break that down in the meeting. I show them. Like, you know, I, I use something that I had the time. This guy, that guy, whatever. So time. Number three, the third, is they don't think it's real. People don't it, think it's too good to be true. Is it a scam? I need to do my research. That's the I need to do my research. I say, look, the only research you need to do is open up your mobile banking and show me your savings account, right? Most people don't even have a couple hundred. Most people are in overdraft, right? So, uh, look, if you wake up tomorrow, if you go to sleep tonight and you don't do something different and you wake up tomorrow morning and do the same shit you've been doing, you're going to get the same results. I say, look, insanity is a definition of doing the same thing over, 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 over again, expecting a different result. That, that's, that's madness. So if you don't do something different, you're going to continue living the same lifestyle. If you want something different, you got to do something different. It's very simple. If you want change, you must change. So they don't think it's real, right? Maybe you haven't gone enough into the products and service industry enough then because these industries and products create and produce more six-figure earners than any other industry on planet Earth. We know this, right? Um, you know, show how big these industries are. Show how many lives have been impacted. You know, research. You know, and I, and I say, if this wasn't real, if this was some sort of scam, if network marketing was some sort of scam, this would be the longest running Ponzi scheme of all time. It's been around since the 30s. The Mary Kays, the Ava, all the Amways back in the 50s. And Guys, if this industry was a scheme, do you think the federal governments would allow this to continue going on? All these millionaires, all these success stories, all these national conventions, they do national conventions. Look, look at David Beckham, uh, Herbalife. You think that the soccer league is going to sponsor a pyramid scheme of an industry? And then I go to show them the reason why I love IML so much is because we don't need to recruit people. We can make money by just using the, the, the service. People love that. Say that line in your events. Let people know you don't have to enroll. You don't have to build. In every company in MLM, you have to go sell. Get good at leadership, do events. That's why most people don't make money because they're not willing to do that or they just don't want to do it. And I know you can be an introvert, sit behind your computer and still make money. It's the people at the events that don't get on stage that can be making more than the chairman. You don't even know. You don't even know their trading account sizes, right? So they don't think it's real. And then I say, look, if every opportunity was too good to be true in life, if every opportunity that seemed just too good to be true, then bro, like nothing in life that seems really good would ever be true. Now, I understand. Don't be a dumb dumb and a yes man to every opportunity. But the research, bro, I'll say, look, why would people like J.P. Morgan, why would people like Anthony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, why would, why, why would Donald Trump, the president of America, I don't give a fuck if you like him or not, 
I don't like the Kardashians, but Kylie Derrick Jenner is now the youngest female billionaire in the world. I'm going to study this girl. I'm going to take some damn notes and humble myself and not talk shit. The people who are talking shit are usually the brokest people. That's why they talk shit, because when people have confidence in themselves, it exposes their lack of insecurities in themselves. Kylie, I don't, I don't like Kylie Jenner. I don't like her. I don't care. I study her. I like her bank account. I like her results. She's obviously doing something right that I can learn from. Donald Trump. Why am I Donald Trump? Okay, well, this man was once $9 billion in debt, bro. $9 billion in debt, and now he's a multi-billionaire. He's the president of America. I don't care what you say, bro. The dude knows some shit. Donald Trump has a book on why you should do network marketing. If it was a scam, bro, are you kidding me? So show this. I don't know, man. I know it. Show them what we're a part of. Do you think Les Brown, do you think Grant Cardone and Les Brown will be partnering with the pyramid scheme? Come on, bro. Grant Cardone is almost a billionaire in real estate. Do you think this man would show them the credibility? Show them the business for home. Show them what we're doing, right? Bring this up really quick. Um, next, they don't believe themselves. People, I don't think I can do it. I don't know. It's, uh, they're, they're, all, they're all these doubts in their mind. They're, they're all, 85% of human thoughts are negative. That's why their bank accounts are negative, bro. Because they're always speaking negative, ne negativity in the subconscious mind, which reflects on their results, their actions. So if they don't believe themselves, it's like, look, I say, look, when I came into it, I'll even say, I didn't have the money. I didn't think I had the time. I, I, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was too good to be true. Number four, I didn't believe in myself. I, I didn't think I could do this. And, but when, when I surrounded myself with the right people, the right products, this isn't just, I, I tell people about my events. I would pay the monthly membership to be an IML, even if there was no compensation plan and no products. I would pay just to be in the community. I would pay just to be in this inner circle to level myself up because we all know that the more value that you have in the world, the more money will attract you. That, that's a fact. So I say, look, when I was around these other people that were being successful, uh, you know, I thought it was too good to be true. I thought it was too skeptical. But I realized if I, if I never had the belief in myself that I could do things, it would never become a reality. I was always doubting myself that I couldn't do things and I would never, it's like if you're at a club or you're at, you're somewhere and you see a pretty girl, if you're sitting there the whole time in your head and you're like, dude, I can't, I just, if you're, you're literally like, in, you're imploring the fact that you can't do it. You're going to manifest that reality. But it, it's, it's so funny. We know this, right? It's usually like the stupidest guys, like the macho guys who pull the prettiest girls, not because of the niceness of the, they're usually not even that intelligent. They're, they're dumb. It's just, they have so much confidence. They, they, they're so goddamn confident. They're almost dumb to the fact they don't think they're going to get denied. And that's why they pulled the prettiest girls. They're so confident. The closed mouths don't get fed. They're the ones going up to the girls, shooting their shot. That's why they pulled pretty girls, right? That's just a fact. So if you don't believe in yourself, if not this, then what? If not now, then when? And if not you, then who? So those are the five things. It's going to be money, time, don't think it's real. Um, they don't believe in themselves. And um, that was only four. How did I mess that up? Let me see. Uh, and, and five, two going to be true. Um, so one is money, two is time, three is don't think it's real, four is don't believe in themselves, and then five is two going to be true. You know, skeptical, and you know, I, 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 honestly, I, I didn't think it was real, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but what did you do to convince yourself that it was real? Share that with them. Those are the five, five objections. And then finally, guys, we'll close this call off. Look. Closing, closing, closing the event. Don't just end your event. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Yeah. No, bro. Assume the close. What we do at our home events, the one time we were, the first time I ever did an event here in London, we had 200 people. We, we got kicked out of our own office. We're outside in the cold, and I'm like, okay, what do we do? Oh, a coffee shop. Boom. We pulled everybody. We had to split up coffee shops. We put 80 people in one of the coffee shops. We did the presentation. What we did was, before we started the presentation, I said, look, how many laptops do we have? We're like, we have enough. I said, bro, open up five laptops at the back of the event. Have them already on the IML website, ready to enroll people. They're like, what, why? And I was like, you want to assume the close. Assume that people are enrolling. When I close my events, I say, okay, thank you guys. Get back to the person who invited you. In the back right corner, we're going to have this guy, this leader. They're going to be answering more questions. Okay, look, if you have more questions, Get back to the person who invited you. Get to the back right of the room. We're going to have these two leaders over there. They're going to be answering questions and getting you guys up to speed with your, with your stuff. In the back left corner, we're going to have the laptops back there. We're going to be launching and enrolling. Now, guys, look. Timing is everything. 
right place, right time, right people, success, love, speed. In the back, there's a lot of people here, and we're doing this every, boom. You guys getting in now, you'll be in front and ahead of everybody else coming in, and they could potentially be in your business as opposed to you being in their business, not getting head start in the business. Boom, fear of loss. So I'm assuming they close. You know what some people do? You know what some of you guys are doing? You're acting surprised. You're acting surprised. You're acting surprised when people sign up. When they're like, yeah, I'm ready to get enrolled. You're like, what? what? Yeah, really? You're down? And, and you're like, you shouldn't be surprised if they enroll. You should be surprised if they don't. Let, let, let me repeat the five. Number one, money. Number two, time. Number three, don't think it's real. Number four, they don't believe themselves. And number five, is this too good to be true? Those are the five objections. Those are the five things going through their head. Money and time are usually the most, the, the two most. And then it's going to be like, they don't think it's real. They don't understand it. And you do the research. My, this recording will be on my YouTube, as you guys are asking. The close, of course, right here. So close. Have new people follow up. People invited them. Get people chit-chatting after. Walk around the room. Don't just run out the room. Go around and help. Answer the questions. Close out. Be aggressive. You know, go over this. What I say, confidence. Don't ever ask. When you guys are closing, don't say, oh, what do you think, man? 85% of thoughts are negative. If you ask someone what they think, they're probably going to give you a negative response. Say, that was freaking awesome, wasn't it? Dude, at my 3,497th event, I still had the same excitement as I did my first event in network marketing. Still, you as leaders, how do you polish yourself? You know what fake leaders do? They're walking around the room. They're doing, they're talking. They're not paying attention. They're, they're outside taking phones. They're, they're over here. They're in the hallway. Do you know what the best leaders do? They're sitting next to their damn prospects that they invited. And even though they know everything, maybe, they still are taking notes. They have a notepad and a pen. Why? Because your prospect's looking at you like, oh, shit. Number one, this guy's dead serious. If they're going to follow you, they want to know you're serious. They're like, yo, dude, he's on it. He's serious. Oh, my bad. What the hell? When they see you taking notes, guess what they'll do? Don't be surprised if they start taking notes, bro. Monkey see, monkey do. Leaders follow leaders. I, I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm free. When I was going on my chairman run, I was taking notes into my prospects. I was leaning forward in my seat. I wasn't on my phone doing it. If you're not paying attention, guess who's not paying attention? People you brought to the event. Pay attention. And when it's time, woo, clap is Get excited. It's all about the energy. At our events, people are ad-libbing. When, when, whenever the, the leader would say something like a cool quote or like something powerful, I'd be like, wow, that loud in front of the whole room. Wow. Or I'd be like, mm, yup. I was hyping. It was almost like, you know, in church when some people are like, praise the Lord, praise the amen. That was me at my events. I was getting amped, bro. People were like, yo, wow, Austin's on it, bro. He's dead serious. When people see that in you, they'll take you seriously, bro. People follow leaders. It's about energy. It's about emotion. Transfer that emotion. Don't be laying back, sitting in your seat, on your phone, not paying attention. Bro, I'm on it. I'm paying full attention. Um, assume the clothes at the back of the room. Have the laptop set up. You're ready to enroll. What I ask them is, hey, dude, that was awesome, right? Yo, what was your favorite part? You know why I asked that? Because you're forcing a positive response. You're forcing a positive reaction. You're forcing something to feed off of that they like. If you say, hey, what'd you think? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't, know. I don't really like the money. Uh, they're going to say something negative, bro. But if you say, what was your favorite part? Mm -hmm. The money, the people, the traveling, the lifestyle, being the fact that I can be an introvert still and make money without enrolling people. Do you know how many people come to our events and be like, I went to one of these things before for Amway, for this company, or, and I'm not taking shots at companies. I'm, I'm grateful to be a part of this industry, but I'm just saying, people say like, look, I love the fact that you can just be a customer. I, met, I like this Forex thing. I like this Forex thing. I like this. Show that. Don't just show the bill, bill, bill. Show, man, customer. So, hey, what would you like best? Um, dude, the, tra the traveling. If they say they like the traveling, don't talk about the money. Talk about the traveling. If they say they like uh, helping people, talk about helping people. If they say they like the money, talk about, if they talk about time for them, talk about time. Don't talk about money. 
reiterate what they spoke about. Then I say, awesome. Look, so dude, do you have any more questions? What questions do you have right now before you get started? Guys, l l listen to how I'm talking. I'm already assuming. I'm already speaking. Bro, do you know what I do? At the end of the event, I'm like, bro, so when you go chairman, what, what, what are you going to, what, with your first chairman check, remember the compensation plan? Right? Yeah. Remember how the, the 10,000 million, yeah. remember how 2,500 a year, when you get that first paycheck, if you're 2,500, bro, what are you going to buy? What, what are you going to buy? If you're not chairman, bro, I don't know what I'm going to, I'm going to give my mom, I'm going to give my mom the paycheck. I'm going to give my mom, guys, the first time I went chairman in, in, in IML three years ago, first thing I did was I gave my mom my check. I gave her, I gave her thousands of dollars. I took her out to dinner. It's all, it's on my YouTube channel. You see, I took my mom to dinner. It's the first time I ever gave my mom money ever. I was broke my whole entire life, bro. That was the best fit in the world. Uh, I took my mom to a nice restaurant after, and, and a nice restaurant to me was Olive Garden, bro. I had no money. I never knew what a nice restaurant was, but, um, I gave my mom a couple thousand dollars and started, she started crying on camera and she was crying. I wanted to document it. I didn't, I didn't want to document it just to be in her face and be like, oh, I'm giving my mom money. I wanted to document it because I knew it would be one of the best friends I've ever had in my whole entire life. And I wanted to relive that moment. And it was. And the look on my mom's face was insane. So I'm asking them. I'm assuming the clothes. Yo, bro, when you go trade, what are you going to buy? Or what, when, okay, so when you enroll, what product do you think you're going to use the most? I'm already asking them these questions. Dude, when you get your car, like when you get your, uh, your car in this business, when you're chairman, what car are you going to get, bro? I'm already... I'm, I'm already 10 steps ahead. I'm playing chess. So what questions do you have, bro, before you get started? Before you get started, what questions do you have? I'm, all, I, I'm not asking if you're going to get – what questions do you have so that we can make – so if you think you're going to – no. What questions do you have before you get started? I know they're enrolling. I already know. Um, uh, I'm, not, I'm good. Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10. Or, 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 or I'll just go right into it. I'll, I'll, say, I'll say, look, let's get you started. 85% of salesmen never ask for the clothes. You know that? 85% of network marketers never ask. Let's get you started. Okay, awesome. Let's get you started. Awesome. Let's get you started. Let's get you started. Yeah, the laptop's right here. Here, look. Let's get you enrolled right now. We already went over the objections. Now, now, they, now they can't say anything. Well, I don't have the money, dude. We already fucking went over this, Bob. If we put up in a Bentley, you'd have the money for a Bentley. Oh, see. All right, bro. You're done, see. We already went over this, right? No, I really don't have money. You can sell stuff, bro. You can borrow money. You have an Xbox. You have an Xbox, bro. Is broke box? Pay is Fortnite paying your fucking bills, bro? Stop playing games. I thought you said you were sick of your mom working a nine-to-five job, but you're playing Fortnite every fucking night, bro. You are you are you joking, bro? Are you mad? Have you lost your mind, bro? I just saw you at the club last Friday, bro. You spent like three hundred on bottles. Are you playing games right now? You're not serious, Bob. You know what, Bob? Actually, you're right. Maybe this business isn't for you, right? Don't be afraid to disqualify people. That's a big nugget. Don't be afraid to disqualify. You, do, you don't want every apple in your business because if you bring a rotten apple in your business, what's it going to do? It's going to rot the other fucking apples, bro. Don't do that. So, close. Assume the close. Let's get you started. Uh, well, okay. W what questions do you have? And what I'll do is there's other leaders there. I'll bring the other. Yo, Tommy. Hey, I want you to. Hey, this is Tommy. He's a platinum 1000 in the business. Hey, um, I, I know that Bob here had some questions. Um, Tommy, would you be able to. Bob, ask Tommy. I edify them. Let me teach you something so crazy. When you edify your uplines, listen, it's important to edify your uplines so that they don't have to brag about their own success. Let them big them up. When my uplines would walk in the room, they would look like rock stars. When they would, when my uplines would get on the, on, on the, on the call or when they would walk in the room, I would hear people be like, yo, that's that, that's the dude, bro. Oh, oh, that's him. oh my God, bro. You saw the looks on his wrist? Yo, bro, you saw his shoes? Yo, dude, that's the guy who's traveling the world. Bro, that's him. That's how people would react. I made him look like freaking rock stars, bro. But here's the important part. I re-edify. I cross-edify. So I edify my upline to my prospect. And then I edify my prospect to my upline, bro. And you don't even know what that does to your prospect's head. You've just played a game with them, bigging them up. So I'm like, now look. Tommy, this is Bob. Bro, Tommy, let me tell you, bro. Bob in high school was one of the most hardest working, most popular kids in our school. Yo, Tommy, I know, uh, uh, but I know if Bob did this business, he would absolutely crush it, bro. Tommy, I'm telling you, I think right here we have like one of our next chairman in the company. I really believe it. Big him up, right back to your upline, real quick. What that does to him is make him feel so good. Don't just up, 
uh, edify your upline. Makes sense. So you're assuming the close, guys. You're assuming the close, guys. If you just type in Austin Gotti on YouTube, um, it'll take you directly to my calls. You'll see it all there. I see you guys asking in the chat box. So, um, and then look, I close fast. I say, look, Bob, I, I need to know if you're ready because I have more people ready to roll. I actually got to leave this meeting now to go to another meeting. Don't do that. I have all the time in the world, man. Just you know, when people see you're on the move, you're in a rush, you're doing things, people, people want what they can't have. When you're always busy. When you're always that person, hey, what are you doing, bro? Just hanging out, dude. Just chilling. Nothing. Bored. Same shit every day. Bro, people won't value your, your time or your opinion. But when you're always boom, you're always doing something, and you're yo, hey, Bob, yo, Let's get you started. But I, I got to go launch some other people that can potentially be in your business. Does that make sense? These people can be in your business instead of you being in them. I can already give you a head start to the business. So let me know. Are, are you ready to get started right now? Let's go. Boom. I got to go do another meeting. And right now, um, yeah. Yep, I got to go. This person can potentially be in your business. Guys, fear of loss. I'm telling you. If not, all good. No worries, Bob. If this isn't for you, it's okay. Close them. Assume the close. And then I say, look, in 15 minutes, we're going to do a little basic trading. And, uh, you know, st if they're still kind of like, ah, uh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. If they're still bullshit, it's okay. Say, hey, look, in 15 minutes, you know, stick around. We're going to do a little, a little basic training, a fast start, and see, see how this works, right? So, guys, that's the close. Last but not least, fam bam, F-A-M-B-A-M. -A -A Last part of the training here, guys. Just, uh, stick with me. I know it's been a long training. Gee, this has been a two-and-a-half-hour training. I hope you guys are getting some value. Fam bam. From a meeting, book a meeting. From a meeting, book a meeting. What do they teach dentists in, 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 in school, in, in dentistry school? When you go to the dentist, I dare you to try to sneak out of the office without them being like, excuse me, sir, sir, ma'am, excuse me, come here. We need to set your next appointment. Every time. It's, they, they're literally trained on fam bam. Don't ever close your events without already promoting the next event. So as you're closing, hey guys, Get back at the person who invited you in the back right through, back left. And look, tomorrow at 6, Thursday at 7, Friday at 9, we're having another event this place. Boom. Bring your people there. Already get a head start launching your business. Bang. Edify the event. Make sense? Fam, bam. Book a meeting from that meeting. From the meeting, book a meeting. Always leverage next meeting. And finally, guys, follow these steps. Duplicate. It's not what works. It's what duplicates. Um, this will for sure help you grow and create momentum in your business. So guys, with that being said, I really do hope that you guys took a lot of value from this call. We have three more calls left um, for the week. And I know that in these calls, we're going to drop an immense amount of value. So really quick, guys, let's go ahead here and let's do one more giveaway, guys. If you got value on the call, can I please just have you guys instead of in the chat box, instead of in the chat box, one more time, let's go back to the Instagram. We're going to give away some more stuff. Holy cow, we're giving away so many prizes. So let's do this real quick. So guys, go ahead, go back to my Instagram. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we are going to do. So let's go back to my Instagram. And whatever that you wanted to say in the chat box, because I, I want to know if I offered any sense of value on tonight's call. And whatever you felt from this call, whatever you felt from Lucas, whatever you felt from Alex, um, whatever you felt, I want you guys to put in the comment section. So right here on my Instagram, real quick, go again to the video right here. Go to this video. And in the chat box, tag three friends. And, and, and in, in one sentence, type how you feel from this call. So right here on this video, we're going to take 30 seconds. I'm going to give away some crazy stuff right now on this call because you guys are champions. We're sticking the whole way through it. So on this video, go ahead, click on it, tag three friends, and in one sentence, put out there the emotions you felt from this call really quick. Let's get it. <laughs> three friends and then in one sentence comment how you feel from this call guys and then go ahead and get some cool stuff away all right guys 17 seconds let's go boom all right here we go here we go 
10 seconds. All right, Leslie, we're going to give you a one-year membership of Social Blur. Leslie, Jeannie. Black Leslie. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else we got? Hey. Who else we got here? Bang. Who else we got? We got. Who else we got, man? All right, my Gigi, Martin Landry, let's go. Hey, Martin Landry, you're a boss, bro. Let's go ahead and give you a one-year membership to Social Blur. Let's get it. I'm going to put all you guys in the group chat. After this call, I'm going to put you guys in the group chat for winners. And we're not done. We still got a few more winners. Let's get it. Here we go. Let's see what else we got here. Hey. What else we got? I'm going to put you guys in the group chat. Keep you guys all plugged in. I'm screen chatting all of you guys. Don't worry. Who else we got here? Who else? Real quick. One or two more winners, guys. All right. We got... Hey, 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 hey. My boy, Life of AMR. Lego. Lego. One year membership. Screen shot it. All right. Last and final winner. Drum roll, guys. Let's get it. Drum roll, drum roll. Hey. All right, last winner. Let's see. Who will be the last winner on this call, guys? And we're doing this on every call this week. You want to get your teammates on this call. I'm telling you, bro. The value alone is insane. But also these prizes. Not just giving money. We're not just giving a man a fish. We're teaching him a fish. We're not just giving enrollments. We're teaching you how to get the enrollments. We're not just giving it to you guys. Here we go. Who else? Last winner. Where you at? Where you at? Yeah. All right. Last winner is going to be my man, Bubba. What's up, Bubba? My G. Big time, bro. Let's get it. Bang. 4.21 a.m. in London. But we grind like at 4.21 p.m. Let's get it. I appreciate all of you for sticking around and indulging in your success. We'll see you tomorrow on the Chairman Boot Camp Call Call 3. Um, I don't have the flyer in front of me. I forget what it is. Let me look. Uh, Lucas, if you're on, if, I, if you can get to it before me, if you want to share what we're talking about on tomorrow's call. What are we talking about? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you can lower the music real quick. I don't know if people can hear me. But tomorrow's call is going to be with Chairman 500, Jason Brown, with – uh, Julian Kushner, Chairman 50, Gary McSween, Chairman 100, obviously Austin Gotti, Chairman 100, and they're going to be going over specifically how to close, how to handle the objections, and follow up. So, guys, it's going to be a fire lineup. You heard it here first. How to close, how to handle objections, and follow up. Damn, Gary, Julian, Jason. <laughs> Let's get it! Gang! Make moves. Chairman season, guys. Love you all. See you on tomorrow's call. Uh, Lucas, if you want to cut the recording. This call is fire. It'll be uploaded on YouTube uh, in the next couple hours on my YouTube, Awesome Gotti. Love you all. Dirt you all, man. Let's get it. Yo, Lucas, let the call slide out for a few more minutes. We'll just play the music out, but just cut the recording. Just make moves. Love you all. Let's go. Let's go.